Three, two, one, go! Excellent, sexy. All right, chat. Are you ready? Just like every single time, are you ready for another episode of War Homs? In this show, we're simping for Sigma. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for one day. For one of us to get like a Vivazella or whatever, or whatever it's called. Oh, that'd just, be great. Just, <laughs> yeah. Just, just straight in the <laughs> Oh, yeah. Holy shit. Yo, guys, everyone take Mongolian throat singing lessons. We can surprise chat once better. Whenever. <laughs> whenever. Uh, whenever. If I. If what. If Remy ever comes the guest star or anything else like that, I'm going to make all of us grab didgeridoos. <laughs> just just to piss him off. <laughs> so with that, game master, what do you have for us today? Well, before we begin, um, I do want to give a little update on the debt collector. Today, I just wanted to list off a few of the servitors who will be looking after our precious, precious tater tot while our players are uh, away from the ship. Uh, so we're currently looking after tater tot. We have servitors Robert Greensmith, Kyle Freeman, Shellshock325, uh, Iron, Gerard Whalen, Party Cyclops, Anonymous Mouse with some O zeros things, David Ducks, Silent and Michael Mission. That, that is the Tater Tot crew for this episode, uh, as, as the servitors are going around the debt collector trying to find where Tater Tot is. But I think, I think we want to we wanna go into a session now, so... Yes. Let us, let us, let us begin. Let last us begin time. With, well, last time we, <laughs> we uh, traveled to the, the Mortis Caserum facility in search of one Slayer Burgo de Fackerby, the 24th of his name, our party's nemesis. And instead of finding him, they instead found Doral, or Supreme Judge Gerhard Straborsen, a uh, very, very um, rotund judge who had many opinions on the PC's actions, and our, uh, our players then traveled deeper into this facility to meet with the uh, imprisoned prisoner, well, a prisoner, I suppose, in solitary confinement, one Ro Hector, hoping to find answers. Except they were ambushed. They were ambushed, and then after they easily defeated the ambush, I pulled a magnet on them and gas and knocked them out and then used a magnet to try to get Pie Brain. But then Pi, the, the chat helped Pie Brain, and I'm still angry about it because now Pie Brain's in the vents. Is that, is that, a, good, is that a good summary? We, we, we good with that? That sounds good? That yeah. seems about what happened. That seems, that sure. Seems, that seems about right. Why not? All right. Today's episode. go to this lovely little the crew continues on the trail however as we start with this this lovely cinematic view of of the mortis carcerum orbiting this this gas giant world we have we have a, a narration on top of it hi there my name's trooper land hest ever since i was a little boy the most important things to me was the Lex Imperialis. Well, today is my first official day on the job as the newest arbitrator assigned to the Mortis Carcerum facility. I've spent the last two weeks finishing up all the paperwork, and I can't wait to give back to the Emperor by serving him as an arbitrator. I'm starting today off by attending the Supreme Judge of this facility as he partakes in an interrogation. And we cut to a dank torture chamber in the upper levels of the Mortis Caserum <laughs> facility, where Captain Sedic is now being held in some kind of pain booth with <laughs> Supreme Judge Straborson standing there accompanied by, by two Arbites. 
This feels like a scene from Star Trek. I don't know what episode, but it feels like it is. <laughs> yeah. Well, then, the role has walked here, and the role expects answers from you, Captain Zedek. Well, you can ask away, but I'll tell you, I'll never tell you what happened to all those funds that we, well, we totally spent them appropriately, but you'll never get that answer out of me. I, I wasn't looking for funds, we'll have to add that. Uh, one of you two, whose names I don't care about, uh, add it to the list. Now, Shit. <laughs> What, uh, and uh, our, our supreme judge pats his rotund belly plate. What I need to know, and he scoots closer and closer until there is an audible heat emanation as he approaches the torture unit. You are now I inside of Captain Zedek, and his, his slug-like head <laughs> leans towards you. I need to know where my jewels are. Uh, for the last time, I don't know where the jewels are. We didn't take them. Or at least I didn't take them from you. You know it is a capital offense to lie to the road, right? Of course I know it's a capital offense. But why would I care? I'm above the law. Now let me out of here. Above the road? <laughs> And he backs up from, <laughs> from, from, from the machine. Did you hear that? He said he is above the row. Clutching Here? his no. fucking pearls. <laughs> yeah. No one is above the row. It, it's right. It's in the contract. If I, 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 struggling to get the contract out of my breast pocket. It's Look, if you no. undid my arms, I could show you right here. But I assure you that I am allowed it, to not be here. It's time. Uh, arbitrator, who's uh, you'll be arbitrator too. Arbitrator two, activate the torture machine. And the arbitrator walks towards the the implement you have found yourself in, Zedek, and begins pressing pressing a little cogitator unit by the side of it. And you see the the two open door plates that are uh, the insides of these doors door places they move to close basically by your face are emitting these electrical sparks I mean, it's, it's really okay we don't we don't have to do this we, uh, please no, you're above the road this is what happens to people who think they're above the and then there's this sudden and all of the all of these spikes spark and the doors fly back open and there's this like stuttering sound and smoke starts billowing out the side of this this paint unit oh uh, no what's, what's going on Oh, oh, well, sir, it looks like, um, it looks like the unit's malfunctioning. Oh, uh, no, not again. This is eighth unit this week that's malfunctioned. Uh, uh, Captain Zedek, you're going to tell me everything now. You're going to tell me where my jewels are. Uh, I, you know what? I'm sure, I'm sure the jewels are somewhere on this facility. I'm sure you just misplaced them. I tell you, I don't know where they are. I could get you some jewels if you'd like, but please, it's not, the torch is not necessary, I assure yeah, you. The Straborsen jewels are what I need. My, I've been in my family for, for generations. They are a symbol of the role here. Uh, I need them. And he like leans in and says, they're, they're my precious, I need them. Oh, please don't get close to me. You smell like spam. Uh, do you have any like social skills you want to to utilize here, <laughs> Captain Zedek? Uh, you know what? I I think I would. I would yeah, like okay. to attempt to persuade him. Look, I I understand those jewels are incredibly important to you, Judge. Surely you could hide. Judge. <clears throat> yes. Well, I'm sure we could hire somebody to locate them. Or if if not, I could I could surely find them if you if you catch my drift. I would like to persuade him, and I'm going to roll for that. Of course, you <laughs> it's will going roll to be a one. four. Right, that's a one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that is a one. <laughs> so uh, would you like to spend a wrath? I would like to spend a wrath die on that. No, that's supposed die. to be better. Yeah, get good. There, we go. <laughs> and no. you got a three. Still fail and then complicated. Awesome. Yes. The curse. Hello. Well, 
Oh, I I think I know what's uh, what's going to happen. I'm going to use this one from uh, one of our servitors for today, actually, uh, Gerard Whalen, um, that is simply entitled Loud Sweating. As you begin making this persuasive attempt against the Supreme Judge, but the judge gets closer to you, and you see the glistening of his skin. Uh, you think you can find my juice? And he's getting closer, and you can see the reflections of the lumens. As, as It's like there's this sheen just all over his face. Yeah, I need to know where my shoes are. I'll, I'll find I, I'll find them before you. I, I, I tell you, we'll, we'll find it. Oh God, you look like a rhinestone studded Grox. Uh. <laughs> I, I think maybe has how to roll. And he like pull like no no no. He reaches down to like his crotch tabard and like stretches it up to wipe off his face. <laughs> ha ha. Tyrone needs his jewels. Tyrone is nothing without its jewels. I... Wait, I thought the law was nothing without the Lex. What did the jewels have to do with it? Uh, uh, and he sort of backs off at that. Uh, 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 arbitrators, uh, take, take the prisoner down to the Lex. He must think about his actions now. And with that, the Supreme Judge turns and begins to waddle out of the chamber. Look, so I can... You guys don't take bribes, do you? Well, no, sir. I'm a, a devout servant of the Lex. My name is Trooper Hest. This is my first day, and I'm a firm believer in the law. Oh, you bright chipper boy, you have so much to learn. He cocks his shotgun. All right, now we're just going to open this. And there's like some some key presses as the, the prison unit, uh, the, the torture unit opens to al allow you out. Now, prisoner, get moving. We're taking you back down to the prison unit. Sure. Are you sure? You, can, I, can I roll wealth to try and bribe them? At least one of them? Um, that, okay, 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 okay. I will allow you to give me, like, a social skill of your choice. Um, and then if you want to spend wealth as far as, as bribing them, we can, we can do that. Actually, no, this would be an influence check. Give me an influence check. Absolutely, I would love to. Mm -hmm. Throw it out there, let's do it. It's a two. That is a two. What's wrong with you? You've got some glory, if you want. Yeah. yeah. You have another person. rat. And, and for people donating, apparently Stream Elements is having a real tough time today, so I forgive forgive I have to do all this stuff manually. So if you do donate and you're waiting like where's my thing on the screen, just give me a second. It's it's struggling, but yeah, you can spend all the glory. We have about five. Sure. Here I'll send it through. That's okay. one. That's, That's one. one. That's one. <laughs> give, a, give a three. <laughs> Hell if want, yeah! If you want to bribe these, uh, if you want to bribe these arbitrators, the difficulty I'm setting here is going to be a five. So you could spend two two wealth if you want to to hit that number. And you do have a wrath die. You also have a wrath die. I so you would be roll like die. four, five, six, seven, eight die. So if you want to spend it and spend eight die. Yeah. Hmm. Risk losing more money on something that I'm unsure of, or spend the chance to change fate. Spend. Zedek is, is a cheap bitch. He is not going to spend his wealth. I will. I will wrap this. Eight okay. d six. Roll Here it, we roll go. It. Rolling, 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 rolling. And that yeah. a drum roll. One, four. two, three, four. Yeah, four that more. plus so, what you already so, have. So four, five, six. Yeah. Seven. Yeah. Seven, yeah, because the... Seven. Yeah, that's right, that's right. Well, I am someone who likes shiny things, so what exactly are you offering? Well, let's see. I could offer you a, a nice bonus on top of what you're being paid now, which I'm sure is meager compared to what I can offer you. Not only that, I could offer you a cushy position on my ship and complimentary literature. Get that. It's... 
It's just the best. I the finest books that my money can buy. All oh, yours. Etiquette. You've you've heard of my book? Of course, it's it's mandatory reading on the planet I'm from. <laughs> <laughs> you know the one. <laughs> That's terrible. Yeah, that one. <laughs> yes, the, the very same, the very same. Just holding back tears. I'm so happy to meet someone who actually read my book. Of, of course, the scholars on my planet, they don't have very much. So we got all of the, the hand-me-down books from, from other places. And and well, our library was, was simply full of etiquette. There were hundreds of copies. It was all we could read. Well, needless to say, I am honored by that. You can have a um, signed copy of it. Sir, subsection <laughs> 22, 3 of the, the Lex Majoris Principis portion 480-3 stroke 4 clearly states we're not supposed to take bribes from prison. Ah, boy, you don't understand. Once you, once you are in the law system, there are uh, exceptions to be made. Uh, now tell me, tell me, tell me of 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 your of your Zedekit revisions. I must know. I have waited the last five years to know. Well, you'd be happy to know there are many revisions in the works, especially about making others do your work for you, which is why I have many many people working on the next copy. But uh, that's that's a trouble for the other day. My my colleagues are here. We have to we have to get them. But you, you Russ, you. You are a devout, devout employee and a wonderful scholar of the Lex. We, we would love to have you, someone who can actually enforce the law. Think it over. Another job offer for you. At right this now, point, uh, Zorin, if you can mark me down a rune point. <laughs> oh, well. I, <laughs> I, right. I, I, would, I would like to, uh, to invoke um, the, the rune mechanic for this session, which is uh, Trooper Lander Hest here is going to to use his his bright eyed ability to talk his fellow arbitrator out of corruption. So, Sir, no, we can't you start, do that. Before you start, yes. Before you start, I don't mm -hmm. know if uh, Chat's trap card will activate for this, but someone oh. did a thing so you complicate. Okay, okay, it will it will not activate for this, but the next time I make a roll, it will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm just making you aware now. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, Lander has turns. Sir, we, we we can't accept bribes. It's in the Lex, and we are followers of the Lex, are we not? Well, I will think about it, but for now we should uh, take the prisoner down to the prison level. That's <sighs> right, sir. All right. Prisoner Zedek, you don't try anything funny now. Well, it's 2v1. I've surely not gotten out of tougher odds. Well, that's, that's good. You should know that as long as you do your due time to the Emperor, everything will be fine. You know the Emperor watches all here, and you can find forgiveness through the Imperial Prison Complex. Oh, I, I sure do. You know, I'll, I'll totally serve that time. You, you, you bet. You bet, buddy. <laughs> um, and so, so the the two arbitrators uh, take take Zedek to the elevator. That sort of long, ridiculous elevator that goes from the upper level of the carcerum down to the the prison gas mining unit at the bottom. And we we kind of view it from outside the station. The sort of elevator going down, and we see the unit, and then we zoom in towards the vents. And inside the vents, we find Pie Brain. Our, this amazing our... art is from Skelly Bean. Yeah. And the uh, shit I photoshopped is, yeah. <laughs> Solid <laughs> metal. Yeah. Um, so, <laughs> so Pie, you were going through. You were going through. This is one of these these vents. You've been here for. You don't know how long anymore. All of the vents look the same. But <laughs> your vox begins to chirp. I'm going to, in the vents, kneel down, and I'm going to put my head, my hand to my head. 
Grizzly ass. It is clear you need help. I'm going to go off. It's like... <laughs> what do you want? Why am I am here doing my uh, the rust stalker protocols? What do you need, Yamu? Rust stalker protocols. Oh, I see. Is that because you are covered in rust because Lemuria does not have maintenance standards? Because I've been around you and your Gryan maintenance standards. <laughs> I see. Mm. Well, then, I suppose I don't need to help you, and you can wander aimlessly for the rest of time. Mm. Listen, Gamu, I know why you're going to help me. It only makes logical sense, after all. After all, if Captain Zedek were to be trapped in the Arbite station forever, <laughs> you would have no one to fly your stupid ship with. You would stop being paid, and you would have to go back to Grya. I like Grya, but yes. I also do like the ship. Thus, I will propose a temporary truce while I assist you. I will hear your proposition. You require assistance navigating. I have managed to send in my data Jin into the station systems to gain a modicum of control. Nothing major, though I can utilize their Vox subsystems to communicate through the debt collector to you. That is a good, a fine, adequate job, good. Um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> the issue is that you will have to get out on your own, as unlikely as that may be. I place your odds in the infinitesimal range, but it is the only option. The ship cannot get closer to the station. Due to poor maintenance, the back would break under the gas giant's gravity well. You are bad at gambling, but okay. All right. In that case, Gamu, do you have access to anybody's uh, biological readout? I need a weapon. I sadly have very little right now. There are arbitrators and combat suppression servitors on the prison level. It appears the vents you are currently engaged in only operate throughout the prison level. To reach the Lex, you will need to utilize the elevators. Elevators, good. This will work fine. Gamu, where approximately am I in the subsystem? How far up or down? Mm. Mm. One sec. Uh, you said my next roll was a complication, right? Yep. Fuck! <laughs> Sweet. 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 Um, Thank you. Fine, that would be against the uh, players. You can't can't be subverting expectations that way. You can't oh, no. be subverting expectations in this in this show, which we subvert expectations. <laughs> <laughs> my I noticed the players no. are making up new rules. I see. I see. Yeah, well, well, according to us, <laughs> <laughs> Technically, <laughs> technically, yeah, it is a game master role, so yeah. The shoddy Grya craftsmanship, which will make her complicate. Good, good. All, all right. What I see before you is several levels of maintenance. Several levels of maintenance. Why are you singing? Isn't that what you do? I've listened to your communications before. Is this not how I ingratiate myself with your group of numbskullery? Oh, you are weird. <laughs> at that point, at that point, there is suddenly, there is suddenly like a playback of you singing when you were on the moon of Scargaris Prime. Yeah, I did that. 
But when you do it, it is weird. <laughs> when you do that, it is cringe. <laughs> it is cringe. And it is not cringe cringe not protocols. Cringe. <laughs> cringe. cringe okay. protocols activated. <laughs> I am utilizing my Eldari lexicon to call this cringe. Um, very well. Uh, I'm going to continue scurrying. And I'm going to see. I'm in the I'm in the maintenance area. Are there any like uh, areas of the vents that kind of have like the perforations where I can look down and possibly see movement? Yeah. Or... So so what you're finding from crawling through these vents is that there are tons of areas where there's like very thick um, metal grating to allow airflow, but none of them that you've come across seem to be any kind of grate that you could physically open. Like, they are they are well vented, or well welded onto the walls here. Well, that would be a problem. Even with my immense strength six, I couldn't open it. I mean, you could certainly give me a strength test if you would like to on one of them. Uh, but but to, get, to answer your question, what you've basically been finding is you, the, the maintenance ducts um, that you're discovering are over areas of the prison. So some of the, the containment cells, you don't ever find a vent that leads into a cell. They're more into the halls in and around the cells. Gabu, this is not maintenance. This is prison stuff. It is maintenance of the flesh. That doctor... Mm. Prison doctor. Are you looking for the, the, the doctor, the one you identify as Reeb? Mm. Reeb is more than likely on the Lex. I don't think they would put him to work here. He is far too smart and they are way too dumb. You do not understand. Reeb is in the prison. I can direct you towards him if you would like. Ah, good. Yes. Where is he? All right, I shall provide you with the information. At this point, we, we fade to, to black momentarily. And then we, we find ourselves with Rabe Van Horn, who is currently in a cell with his new cellmate. There he is. Oh, the no. boy. Uh-oh. The so, big boy. So, Rabe, you have... You have basically been placed into this this chamber uh, alone for some indeterminate number of hours, at which point the door opens and some arbitrators admit this immense form that you'd previously, like, witnessed as Chalkis. Mm. Who enters in, hands uh, covered in gore and blood, and as soon as Chalkis enters this this room... The door closes. Mm. I have an important question. Yes. Do I have my sunglasses? Um. Escape, yes. Huh? All right. Gotta fix that. Hang on. Okay. <laughs> good. Good. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> good. Good. I'm glad. Excellent. Right, good. They look like. Whatever. Who gives audio cash. contacts. He just drew on sunglasses on his thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I needed to be sure. Uh, so, just as a quick question: Is Chonkus tired, or is Chonkus still Chonkus? Uh, well, why doesn't Chonkus tell us how Chonkus is? How is Chonkus? Chonkus is very happy that he now has a new friend. Focus yeah. like you, money. Your hair reminds me of Tiny Kitty Cat. But I am so glad to have new roommate. The last one, I always run out of roommates. They always turn into jam when I hug them and love them. And I mean, Tonkus will look at his hands. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Reeb? Your reaction. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, uh, that is unfortunate. Uh, hang on, so no, I have to. I have to sing character. Man, it sucks that your friends keep turning into jam. Yeah, jam is really good for hugging. No, jam gets really sticky. Can you help me with jam? And Tonkus will kind of 
show his hand to Reem, going, It really hurts when I have to turn others in the jam. It's very unpleasant. Tolkis just wants to be friends, but they keep coming at me with the hurdy sticks. Sure, buddy. Give me a second here. Uh, this is like, are his hands like beat up from like bone and shit? Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> like, like you can tell that these hands have been used to brutalize many people. Well, the simple problem here, my friend, is all the chunky parts of the gem are hurting your hands. Reba's very accustomed to seeing mauled viscera. So I'm going to roll a Medicaid to fix his hands. If, Remember, if it hurts a lot, I'll make you hurt a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry. It'll hurt less. Trust me. Yeah, give me a Medicaid. Oh, damn. There you go. That's a sex and a glory. Jesus. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you, uh, you, you knock some of Chunkus's chunky bones back into place. There Ooh. are some, some like cracking sounds as you, you apply some, some different techniques to, to fix, you know, bent fingers and bones. Oh, these hands don't feel so hurt no more. I had to use them for nearly a week straight, pummeling people. Yeah, that's that's what I'd imagine you were up to with them. You do a good job beating people up, by the way. What's Ooh. your technique? I uh, I take I take I take person and I pull arms really hard, and then when blood spurt in the enemy's eyes, I pummel them. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, so while that's happening. I'm just sort of doing this to keep him placated for the moment, because obviously setting his bones was a was a very temporary fix. Can I look around and see if there's any sort of... Well, what the hell does this room look like, first and foremost? I imagine it's basically what's before me here. There's no exits yeah. here. I destroyed them. <laughs> it's, um, it's basically like a <laughs> Friends stay forever. Room. Jesus. It's a two-person <laughs> room with a single door that um, that leads off into the, the, the wider prison complex. Uh, it's like got kind of a bunk beddy vibe with sort of an upper level and a lower level. Uh, but otherwise, there's like a single toilet in the chamber in the corner, and that's it. Hmm. Can, does Tonkis know? Is, is Reeb looking for a way out? I assume Reeb is looking around. Reeb is looking around. He's not looking for a way. I was literally asking for what this room looked like, just for like. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Tonkis will come up to Reeb going like, thank you so much for helping my hands. Now I can pet for more efficiently. And I grab Reeb and just like to start stroking his hair back like a fucking like fragile kitten. It's going, Tonkis appreciates his new friend. Sure thing, buddy. Sure thing. Not a problem. My hair is very soft. The last one didn't have any hair. Mm, that's not surprising. They probably took all his hair. Yeah, I had to rip it off. He got in the way of my teeth when I tried to eat him. He didn't taste very good. I won't eat you, though. You help my hands. Yeah, um, I also am poisonous. Can I roll a persuasion? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I would assume that would be closer to, like, deception. Are you sure? I mean, uh, I assume you're not actually on poisonous. Par, okay. They're on par with each other now. I forgot. That's an area declaration. <laughs> yeah. Narrative declaration. I replaced my blood with... Yeah, narrative yeah. declaration. I am toxic. <laughs> <laughs> now you're actually you spending a wrath point. Um, I'm going to throw two glory at this just for safety's sake. Okay. Awesome. Won't. Okay, then roll them. Thanks. Uh, so that's Ooh, five, six again six. in total. Yeah. Um, Ch- Chonkas, you, 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 uh, you believe that. Oh, that's a terrible condition. Yeah, I'm working on it. it. It's hard to it's hard to not be poisonous. It was how I was born. It's like you, how you were. Would you really... eat? Is it turn into acid? Yes. That's amazing. That's really... You can get us out of here. No, sorry. Get on the door handle, 
new friend and I pick him up and like just kind of like like angle him towards the door like come on do it and I start shaking him I'm gonna roll a deception <laughs> <laughs> yes sure push on I, your door Reeve <laughs> <laughs> I already tried that it doesn't work give me a 10 <laughs> you know the fact that you're rolling deception means that it would work um, so, I, I don't think I don't think it's orc logic on this one. <laughs> Speaker, the issue is I'm trying to lie to him, saying I already tried pissing on the door, which I didn't do. Ah, oh, that, like, oh, that would explain a lot. It's why that's rusty. And, and then I want to I want to say that as Chunkus is holding Reeb up, aims towards the door, like you know, should do it, do it. And then they have this this brief interlude. The door opens, and an arbitrator standing there. Hi. Hi, Jim. Uh, Hello. I'm not Jim. My name is Trooper Hest, and this is my first day here. Oh, um, fresh I, meat, huh? Uh, I, I am I a like servant of the Lex. <laughs> I put Reeb down. I approach new person. Yeah, you you loom above. I like new meat. Would you like to give me an intimidation check? <laughs> sure do. <laughs> <laughs> sure do. <laughs> Let me just find it here on on his awesome character sheet. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. I have to. I don't think I can do an intimidate. Hold up. Wait, no. There yeah, it is. Can. There it is. Yeah, I found it. I found it. Yeah, it's it's different because it's. Uh, Chunkus intimidates. Chunkus gets four. Oh my God. <laughs> Does Chunkus want to spend a wrath die? Or are you happy with four? Yeah, I wanna, I wanna, I'm gonna spin a wrath die. Tonkus, yeah. <laughs> I'm Tonkus gonna need a lot of wrath die, by the way. That way, I don't know why I clicked that. I'm sorry. Hold up, let me click that oh, roll button. Oh, chatter oh. ass. Okay, yeah, that, let, let me just, the, the let second me just say roll. That, the second yeah. roll's fine. The second yeah, roll's yeah, fine. We're fine. That's, My bad. Yeah, you're 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 more than enough to to get like it. <gasps> I read about you. You must be Chunkus. Chunkus the huge. Oh. Uh-huh. <laughs> They said, they said that, 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 that they put you here because because you refused to get in the back of the chimera. It was too dark in there. They said you. They said you you did things to the commissar. I popped all their heads off because they put me in the tiny metal box. I hate the tiny metal boxes. And I basically immediately, like, with part of my intimidation, I, like, slam a fist right into the door, possibly causing a dent. Yeah, dents it. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, you ain't, you ain't gonna put me in another metal box, are you? No, 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 I'm, I'm just here to bring, bring you to, bring you to lunch. Oh, <gasps> like lunch? What are we having for lunch? Um. I I don't know, but I'm I'm here to escort you. They what said do you that mean you... you don't know what's <laughs> having for lunch? The last I... guy told me what's for lunch, and the last time he didn't tell me, he no longer had the job. You know why he didn't have the job no more? Because he didn't tell you what was for lunch? Uh-huh. And you know what happened to him? Did, did you eat him? No. He got transferred. He was really nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I'll know for next time, but if it's if it's okay, I was told to, to bring bring you there. They say you like to, to have your, your lunch alone or with friends. I like to have lunch with friends. I oh, made a new you... friend roll here. I grab Reeve just like one hand and like pick up like a fucking action figure. Go, come on, friend, let's go have lunch together. And and so, Chuck, as you uh, you emerge holding Reeb um, like an action figure, as you you come out from the, the prison door, uh, standing beside a, a second arbitrator outside is is Captain Zedek. And Reeb, you see Captain Zedek standing there. Hey, Cap, what's going on? Hi, Reeve. I just got <clears throat> done, you know, talking to a fan of my book, just so you know. I see you've made a friend. What? What is that? The uh, is that the guy who turned a man into jelly before? I turn my hand to look at Reeb. 
He's like, like an action figure. He's like, look at him. Like, hey, is Coat Man making fun of you? No, he's not. He got my name wrong. My name is uh, Arts Manor, not Reeb. Oh, okay. I will still call you Reeb. All right. Is that a cute clown? I, I thought the night was over. I'm sorry. Is this, Ch- is this Chunk, friend? Chunk? Yeah, sure. He's a good friend. He, he's, he's, he's a good guy. Sure. Well, Go for I'll it. I'll collect him and Marcel too. Hey, cop man. Uh, tr- I want tr- that tr- one tr- and Marcel yes. too. Uh, no, I'm fine. I like myself by myself. Thank you. You have no decision in the matter. I want him and Marcel too. Uh, give me another intimidation check, please. <laughs> <laughs> Exciting. As I wait for it. I can't believe oh, no. I got 10 on the deception. That's oh, there so, we go. Uh, like, that, was, screwed up. that was almost max. Uh, it's <laughs> not showing up for me. Hold up. Uh, one sec. Oh, there oh, it goes. There we go. Okay. I got a seven. Okay. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. We will. We, we'll, uh, yeah, yes, we'll, we'll we'll put him in the cell with you because the the Lex is is fair and there's enough room in that for two people to share uh, and and for one ogre. You sound size. like a hypocrite. I want my food now. I put Reem oh. down and and sit at the uh, and sit at the table. Well, okay, you, so, you go so to he, service, he, he right? He, he, you, you, you find yourselves like heading towards the uh, the mess hall, which is completely empty. Um, did, did, Ch- Chalkus, prisoner Chalkus, did you did you want this 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 one? And he points to Captain Zedek to to eat with you too. Yeah. Okay. No problem with that. Uh, no, no, no. I will go find what is on the menu for today. No, no, no. You want wrestle? <laughs> you want to tussle? No, I'll toss no. it with you. Um, I'll go find out. I'll be back. Uh, you sit here, and then Trooper has starts running off, leaving you the three of you at at the the empty, otherwise empty mess hall. <sighs> Artaman, don't you know the first rule of being in prison is you don't know anybody? You're the one who pointed yourself out to me, buddy. No, I didn't. You, you you told him I was there. You acknowledged I exist. You you do exist. You're right there. Prove it. Okay. I, I pinch I, the I, fuck out of Zedek. <laughs> it's like <laughs> just one massive hand just. Do you feel that? <laughs> I feel it. He's real. How broken is whatever part of my body he just pinched. <laughs> Um, uh, you take a wound. <laughs> <laughs> it's only a simple trauma. Yeah. It's only a light bruising. <laughs> what the f- Okay, can I just point out, like, what the fuck, chat? Like, you, you have some deep meta discussions going on here. What if Chunkus is Lauren, but from a different time? <laughs> 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 I was wondering what's what's your name? Chungus, Chungus Skywalker. <laughs> or did you get all? <laughs> all right. So the the three the three of you are sitting at the table. Um, the the trooper has 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 rushed off, uh, leaving the three of you alone to to have further discussions as necessary. Okay. I'm going to, again, look around. Are there any... I mean, I'm assuming there are. Obviously, this is a fucking prison. But are there any uh, security auspexes of any kind? Just, you know, dotted around the room. Imagining there's a lot. Uh, yeah, you can tell that there there seem to be some, like, viewer units up in the ceiling. Hmm. All yeah, right. Can you give me an awareness test? Can me give you an awareness test? Yeah. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's okay, really I'll give you an awareness test. Yeah. I roll it anyone... awareness test. I get you with three. You get you three. Cool. Does anyone else want to give me an awareness test? Sure, I'll give you an awareness test. Okay. Here you go. It's coming at you. Sweet. I like it. It's, it's a one the complication. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> okay. Um... Tonkus gets aware. He gets a glory. <laughs> Good. Good. <laughs> I uh... add it to the pool. Tonkus gets glory. What? What's? Why is he? What's glory? Shh. It's what I like to call the cubes on my on my tray. 
I'm very excited when I'll get glory bucks or glory okay. bars. Am I aware enough to see if he has any uh, cues so, on the mess? So, Reeb and Chonkus, um, you notice there seems to be something in a vent. Oh, spoiler! Like, I punched the vent. <laughs> and there's this immense clang. Um, and Pybrain, you see, you see this like fist come towards you from the vent you've been looking out of this whole time. Ah, this is what I wanted. So a fist is coming at me. I'm ready to catch it. Um, it's, 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 it's it's stopped by, <laughs> by it's stopped by the metal bars. Very disappointing. You should train and get stronger. I'm gonna keep moving through the vents. <laughs> you just <laughs> away. <laughs> can I can I do an awareness to see if I heard that exchange? Uh, you would have you would have you would have definitely heard the exchange. You would have I'm going it. to power slide over to the vent. Okay. And I'm going to press my face up to the dented plate and I'm gonna shout into the vent. Hey, idiot! It's us! Oh hello. Pray, you got away? Uh-huh. There Where is the hell you no, went? There is no cell that can hold me. No mortal chains that can keep the glory of Lemia. Alright, I don't care anymore. I'm going to then uh, use my combi tool. Yes. And uh, presumably there's a vent in the way. Yes. I'm going to use my combi tool to try to sh- kind of unscrew this vent and allow these two chuckle fucks in. Uh, okay. Do you want to give me a tech check? I would love to give you a tech check. Ah, the beauty of technology. That's seven successes. Yeah. You- <laughs> Their own butt Zedek rolls good. You, you, Shut up! You start, you start to use your combi to unscrew it, um, and you're making you're making a headway. But this thing is like welded in place. Like you're you're having some difficulty. You're you're getting it out pretty fast. Uh, but that's when you hear uh, shouted from behind you. Um, it sounds um, Grok's tendies. Grok's tendies. Those are my favorites. Okay. okay. Uh, they'll they'll be coming soon. I'm uh, just getting them now. What do you mean, sustenance? Okay. What is Chonkus doing, seeing uh, Reeb up by the vent? He's uh. For now, I'm just letting them have the thing go die. I'm satisfied. I took care of the spider, so I'm now just <laughs> I'm now just ready to sit down and eat. And I'm just excited. Go ten days, ten days. Uh, yeah, and and Pyre, you're 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 making progress, but you you've, you've kind of realized that it's going to take a while to, to get this this off. As as I'm saying, ten D's, ten D's, and like just like the karma saw used to make. Oh, what made Tonkus very sad? Tonkus, shut up. Okay, you Man, too. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Man, shut up, this... Spider. You're supposed to be dead. Okay, so listen. Okay. <laughs> this grate it is very hard to remove it would take time and you are under guard are you at threat of being executed by the RBTs I think we're more at threat of Hagar over there crushing us into tomorrow's <laughs> lunch than of actual guards yes the big potato man mm-hmm have, you should try to turn him into your servant. He might be able to help you in dealing with the Arbites. I, on the other hand, hmm, I think I might be able to create distractions that would allow us an escape attempt. We need to find where Lorne went. I'm hmm. sure That's the main okay. problem we have here, is because he's a psycho, he probably was sent somewhere expressly designed for containing psychers and would likely be very, very divorced from the rest of the station. Yes, that is true. Gamma, where is Lorne? But we had with us. Oh, I see. Now you request my assistance where your friend would be. <laughs> yes, it appears the one designated Lorne is in a ultra security level on the lowest levels of the station an anti psyker containment unit. It appears close to where one Rohector is also located, though the 
cell containing lawn is under heavy, heavy security. There is, there are many data protectors and data walls in place that make any sort of intrusion impossible from my end. That is annoying, and it means we cannot blow up the station. Hmm. That's going to blow it up anyway, Pi. We weren't? Oh, well. No. Who knows what can happen in that crazy space place? All right, who wants tendies? (laughs) (laughs) Tokus wants tendies. Go get them. Uh, what are you two doing by the vent? Don't you want food too? Oh yeah, you t- friends need to eat. This is only meal you get in the entire week. Oh, fine. I'll step away from the breeze for a minute. I grab both of them and just boop, boop, just like action figure. Like, come, ain't we tokens? Tokens looks eating with friends who are alive and not jam, and put them down on the table with me. He comes bearing uh, four trays, two of which are for Trunkus, and then one of which are for... Uh, they get, like, does Trunkus get, like, two trays, and they're, like, piled, like... Fucking yeah, yeah, like, <laughs> they're all, they're, like, fucking mountains of food, and then there's two, like, regular trays that are just... For- like, what? <laughs> like, two of two tendies? And yeah, exactly, it. like, two tendies and um, a fry. And then the, the, the guard sits opposite you. Got a the question fuck, for you. <laughs> <laughs> like, fuck you sitting here for? <laughs> Just... Got a question for you, buddy. Oh. Uh-huh. Uh, sorry, not you, buddy. The fella across the table. Oh. Uh, well, yeah. What's what's up? We're not really days? supposed to to to, fr- to fraternize with with the prisoners, but I've also been told it's important to talk to them to get information. So, <laughs> hi, my name's Lander Has. It's my first day. Nice. Yeah. So it's in fraternization. I'm asking a question. Where the hell else is everyone? In this room, I mean. Oh well, you see, um, per the Supreme Judge's orders. Chonkus gets to eat alone or with friends, because if he eats with the regular populace, he tends to murder several of them. Yeah. After his last fight with Tagader's men, uh, the Supreme Judge thought this was for the best. Right. And you're still sitting here, why? Well, there has to be at least one arbitrator present to watch the prisoners. So why are you sitting at the table and putting yourself at a tactical disadvantage? You know, he can just reach across the table and just like... Like, you saw him do that to other prisoners. They had to have shown you the pick logs of it. I I don't believe that Chalkis is a bad person. I think Chalkis is just misunderstood by other arbitrators here, and I would like to to form a form a bond. Your innocence is so sweet. I think my pancreas is failing. I uh, I can have someone look at that in a minute. It's a it's a term of phrase you donut. I'm aware it is, you fucking goon. Um, and you two, you're just like me. You're new here too, just on the other side of things. Mm-hmm. So, your uh, supreme judge gave an inkling as to why we're here. Um, well, he seemed to to indicate that you had some high crimes against the the Imperium theft from uh, a senior arbitrator. <laughs> yeah. Sure is, buddy. Let me uh, let me let me do something here real quick. Uh, hang on, let me see if I got. Something. I'm gonna reach into my my coat pocket really quickly. Mm-hmm. Do I still have my? Uh, do I still have my symbol of authority? No, did they confiscate that. They took. Yeah, it? they they basically confiscated everything but your clothes and my sunglasses and your sunglasses, obviously. Hmm. <laughs> no one's gonna understand that joke. Never mind. Um. Mm, damn. So, which of you, uh, which of your fine friends was poking through the goods that you confiscated off of me? Oh, uh, they went all to the Supreme Judge. He's really active. He likes to handle that kind of stuff himself. 
Yeah, but who who repossessed it? I trust he didn't get his hands on it. Oh, I don't know. It's my first day. That's great. Hmm. Times are great, Reeb. Times are Times great. Times are great. <laughs> hey, Gitsan. Yeah, Good gotta... job, Shankus. Thank you. I'm going to lean over to Zedek. Zedek, we have a slight problem. They took my, my symbol of authority. I can't prove anyone I'm an inquisitor at the moment. And they took my warrant of trade, so I can't prove to them I'm above the raw either. Do you keep your warrant of trade on you? <laughs> Just, just, no. just to clarify, it's like a like you just you keep the fucking paper on you roll Pre- up. Like. You're going to get fucking identity theft, dude. The fucking shitty clerks are going to take your word of trade, and they're going to become a rogue trader instead. Yeah, it's not who it works. Not who it they're they're gonna gonna dead first. Ones. Remember they're a bunch of arbites flying around collect. trading the raw. Dude, they're going to be able to legally own the debt collector. They're going to fly away with it. I'm going to steal it like a car. Zedek is very, very realistically weighing his options of killing his way out of the prison. I just realizing assumed, his mistake. Uh, I just assumed Zedek's face. <laughs> I was like, what do you mean if they have the warrant of, oh, no? <laughs> hmm. So here's the thing is while we are here, I would like to say that I am a member of the Hive Nobility on Necromunda. I was coming in here at the behest of my cousin. You know, Sladbergo, he came by. Well, you wouldn't know. You're new here. Point is, It's my it's first your, day. Exactly. It's your first we day. Heard. Supreme Judge mentioned that uh, my cousin may or may not have taken something from him, and it's really kind of concerning because I'm out here to try and warn my cousin that assassination plots against him. So you can see now I'm being caught up in someone else's problem here. He has all the paperwork to prove it. He confiscated everything out of my coat pockets except the lining itself, and I don't even think that's intact. Oh, well, well, that's not good. Um, I can, I, I, you know what? I'll, I'll help you. I'll get the requisite forms, and we'll get those filled out and filed, and send it to the administratum clerk in this subsector, so we can get your claim looked at right away, sir. Okay, I'm going to stop you there. I'm not five years old. I won't be alive by the time those are actually filed. We'll get justice for your descendants. Okay, second question. Yeah, you know what happened to an arbitrator last name McLaw Daughter? Oh, senior arbitrator McLaw Daughter. You know, I really look up to her. I read all the information. She's she's the, the highest ranked arbitrator here under the Supreme Judge. She works really hard. She's she's kind of a role model for me. Disgusting. Didn't answer the question. What happened to her? <laughs> what, 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 do you, what do you mean what happened to her? See, she got wrapped up in that funny little trap that your Supreme Judge threw at us. I, I I don't know. I I saw I saw her yesterday. She was giving out my, my duty assignments. Uh, tell you what, while you're also filing those papers that will have no tangible use to me or my descendants in all likelihood, can you also go out and try to find out what happened to her? I'd like to schedule a meeting if that's at all possible. Uh, all, all right. Well, um, it looks like meal time is over, so so it's time for you to, to get back uh, to, to the general populace. Oh. Can, I, can I try one last thing? What would you like to try? I'm gonna I'm gonna put on the uh, the Artimenter charm of this person who has just existed for the past day. Uh, that is Artimenter to Fuckerby. I'm gonna say, oh come on, man, don't be that way. I'm just asking. She seems really nice, and I wanted to see if I can try to understand some things a bit better as a persuasion with two glories. Absolutely, nice. That's oh. a one. Ooh, that's good. 2d6 will get me another one. I'm going to do a wrath because I have two. Yeah. I think. No, I think yes. I yeah, yeah. Session. Good. Yeah, good. Uh, did you spin one before and I missed it? I did not, but I also okay, yeah, did you have one now. Oh, wow. Going to f- I can't do my wrath again. All right. Fine. No, so, so, Reeb, you try all of this and like, 
It seems like it seems like Hest is kind of thinking about it, but just needs some kind of final push, possibly if someone else wants to to throw their weight behind it. But he's just like, um, well, I'm I don't know if I really should. I mean, there's there's a lot. And I, you have, so. agree with little man. I rolled a five for Chongus. Oh, OK. Uh, well, Chongus, that's that's fine. I'll um. I'll I'll look into this. Uh, you finish up your meals and get 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 to general population immediately. And sort of has to pushes off. Oh, what a first day! And he turns and walks off. Terrific. Thanks for the help, big guy. Uh huh. I want to pet hey. your hair later. I'll tell you what. If you stop petting my scalp, I'll give you my tray. And I slide my metal tray over to him. I think the dog looks down at the tray, picks up tray takes bite out of tray it has the food on it you dip why don't i eat it with the food it's all good sandwich fuck's sake <laughs> <laughs> it's like the sound of just metal crunching Strong. i like that the art the art for oh, chunkus has like Zorin. one tooth coming out clearly that's old biter zorin this he's an ogre not an amble why not <laughs> Hell yeah! He's a grow. He is a growing ogren. He needs his iron. Yeah. <laughs> uh, is my brain still at the vent? I hope he left. I was. Oh dreaming. yeah, Pi is has left. Okay. He's, okay. Yeah, because he's he's like you're not gonna stay here very long. There's no point in doing this. So he is going to begin scurrying through the vents and finding the places where he can do the most damage to this facility. Preferably, he'd like to fucking Batman Arkham Asylum a guard. <laughs> <laughs> um, and all 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 right. <laughs> Wait, 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 your plan is to find a, a god and attack them? Yes, uh, well, that is part of it. You see, the people, my friends, need more time to escape. They have already made a powerful ally. No doubt they will cause great disruption and mayhem, so I must ensure that mayhem is responded to as slowly as possible. In order to do this, I need a weapon. I see. You are expecting me to provide you the location of someone with a weapon. Yes, I am expecting you to tell me the locations and emanations of local Vox Chatter so that I might find someone and perform a secret surprise attack. Yes. Yes. I have such a location. I am sending it to you now. You say that like you are, like it is uh, going to be a funny trick on me. Why would you ever think that, fellow servant of Great Mars? I, I will trust you this time, Gamu, but if this is a funny joke, I will be very upset. And there will be Consequences that will blot out your cogitation. Okay, I'm going now. Ah, that's good. You make your way towards the signal, and what you start hearing is, is the discharge of some kind of weapon, like, um, and you find yourself over what is clearly some kind of uh, range. Like a weapons range, just in like a corner of the prison area, and you can give me an awareness test if you'd like to sort of like peer through the vents and see what's around here. Excellent. Oh, my awareness is not seven; it is lower than that. Uh, I'm going to use a glory on this. Yes. Course. And let's see what happens. Yes. Oh, four successes. Four. Okay. Uh, yeah, you see that there there appears to be one prisoner in here who is firing some kind of rifle uh, at at targets on a wall, and you just hear, "I am going to get out of here and join the the indentured penal unit. I'm going to get the right marks. I'm going to do it."
Okay. I'm going to reach between the bars. Am I directly over him? Uh, you can position yourself so you are, absolutely. I'm going to smash the bars and tackle this guy. Like, just drop down on him? Yeah, just... <laughs> Okay, and okay. have my arms. If I if I if I can if I can reach him with my weird augmented arms, I will grab him by the neck and pull him up to the vents. Uh, Not knowing will, what's around him, I will, I'm pretty sure no one is around. I will allow you to do the pull up maneuver if you want a narrative declaration. That. Otherwise, you'll have to burst out. I'm cool bursting out. Okay, okay. Uh, so let's get an athletics check to to burst out of the grate. Excellent. Yes, yes, yes. We'll say a DN5 because this is a... Oh, look at that. Six and, and a glory! So you, you come... Like, you smash down the grate, falls lands on top of this this poor prisoner with like a distinct crunching sound and you you find yourself on top with the great sort of between you as this prisoner is clutching onto this rifle staring up in abject horror at your uh your lifeless eyes and black or red cloaked face oh no anyone else around um, are you going to spend time looking around, or are you going to spend, or are you going to focus on on? Well, I'm on top of this guy, yeah, and presumably he's immobilized. So just while I'm here, I'm just going to move my head side to side and see what my surroundings are. Yeah, you seem to be in some kind of like like range, uh, like a training range, and there appears to be like one weapon that he's he's clutching onto. There's no other guns in here. He's this is this man is clearly in like a prisoner's getup and is looking up an object here, but there's no one else in here. Merry good. I'm going to reach down and take his weapon. Merry Christmas. Uh, wow. Yeah, you gra you grab the last gun from him. Mm -hmm. Now I need you to do me a big favor. <laughs> okay, what? What is that? Okay, you need to be unconscious, and I'm going to hit him in the head with the butt of the rifle. <laughs> uh, um, you know what? Uh, for that, give me a weapon skill test. <laughs> yes, yeah. we're him. back in business, baby. Oh, that's a two oh. and a complication. Well, it's time to use a wrath. <laughs> wrath, wrath, baby. Ran. Hit him so hard he wakes up. Eight. <laughs> <laughs> um, Am I going to hit him so hard the last gun breaks? <laughs> if you hit a man so hard he wakes back up when he's already awake, does he just ascend? He just wakes up? He just... No, it, it becomes he's woke. I he just achieves cheating. Um... Yeah, okay, you, you 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 hit this guy like square in the skull, knock him out. Uh as you do so, you hear this distinct whine. Uh and this is a, a I'm gonna use a complication from uh Strom 12 BL entitled The Machine Spirit is Angry, where after you do this, the Laz gun seems to be angry at you now, Pi. Like Sorry, one more time. I'm going to look at it. I'm going to say, no, it's fine. Don't be like that. This is for the Omnissiah. Uh, do you have like a persuasion check that you could make? <laughs> could I make a tech check? No. Uh, worth a shot, right? I have intimidate. That's fine. I'll give you intimidate, too. You can intimidate <laughs> the gun back. In I the, intimidate uh... the gun. Let's see what happens. Two successes. Would you Are like you to happy wrath? with that? Happy with that? I'm not, not. I'm not thrilled gonna with it, break. but gonna I'm gonna need this craft for later. Uh, are you gonna uh, want to spend some glory? Uh, oh, I will spend the glory though. Yeah, sure, absolutely. Okay. We'll spend the three glory. Okay. Why well, uh, one of yeah. these three dice is a success? Okay, so three we'll glory get gets spent. Chat then just gives back four. Oh, nice. And then. Yeah, yeah so, two mouths still being super slow for some reason. So I'm trying to because I have to go through like a thing, and it's like any moment now it'll tell me who did what. So, so I apologize for any tardiness. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, pot pie. So 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 so, so you yell at the last gun, and it like spools back up, and you can see that the energy cell is now connected, and and it looks like it's got almost a full charge on it. 
Ah, thank you, my friend. I'm going to kick <laughs> the vent to the side. Um, I'm actually going to bring the, the. I'm going to try to break the vent open uh, and use some of the jagged metal as an improvised knife or sword. Uh, give me a tech check to to build your your like vent shank. Good idea. Yeah, absolutely. We'll see how this goes. <laughs> yes. <Ten. laughs> <laughs> yeah. In fact, you make a, a a vent sword. Like it just counts as like a regular sword. Hell yeah! Mm-hmm. So I make this garbled, just mass of just gnarled metal. Taking this vent aside, I'm going to use some of the like smog and like debris from the uh, vent crashing down. Mm-hmm. So this guy has like a white shirt on, right? Uh, yeah, he's got like a like kind of well, actually, sorry, he has more of like a a grayish um, oblivion NPC esque um, attire. That's good. I'm going to take some of the dust. And I'm going to write on his chest. Now I have a las gun. Ho ho ho! And I am going to jump back into the vent. Excellent, excellent. Um, <laughs> we cut back to our intrepid party. That is, that is not by hard. Um, Chonkus and Co. having having just finished their their lunch. Chonkus, you have finished consuming everything, including the trays. I could. I finished consuming everything and the tray. And the trays. Uh, at this point, you can you can tell that the the doors have like opened up to admit you back into the prison's general populace. I guess we're gonna do that. But then I got nothing else I can really do from here. Okay. Um, so as you you walk out, you you find yourself back in the in the prison, and you see th- at this point they're just kind of letting prisoners mingle about while arbitrators and combat suppression servitors are on sort of high end like the gantries that you were walking on early sort of those upper catwalks and just looking down and kind of monitoring the situation Mm -hmm. and you see a lot of like prisoners are giving you the three of you a wide berth uh chunkus what do you do when you enter prison general uh i guess size myself up bigger than i I mean, I'm always big. I'm already the biggest thing in there, but I'm like yeah. swathing right here. I'm assuming we're just going back to the cells, right? Or is it just like a recess for us? It's kind of like a recess. Like you can just sort of okay, walk around okay. the area with all so, the doors open. So I assume there's like an exercise area, right? Like, like giant weights or whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, okay, friends. Remember, whenever you get into situations like these, you're going to have to establish dominance. It's a we going to lift weights together. All right. Sure, sounds good. Oh, right, well, let's go over here. And I, I assume I see someone currently using the weights. Uh, yeah, there's like there's like a prisoner who has one arm. The other has been like sawed off and is just like lifting some weights with the one arm that they have. I basically just like power move in, basically, and go little excuse me, gentlemen. I need you to vacate the premises so me and my friends can lift weights to look better than you. Can can I finish this rep? How many reps you got? Uh, I got one left. Oh well, hurry up! I wait patiently. Oh. Okay. And like, it's one of those like art, like just typical um, like gym moments of the guys. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah! Almost there! Yeah, yeah! And he's just one of those obnoxious <laughs> guys who like constantly has to like Don't talk worry. Don't while worry, speaker, he's I'm twelve too. <laughs> you both disgust me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, keep going. I'm sorry. Oh, and then he drops the weight. Down. <laughs> Hell yeah! And he gives he gives you a nod to John. It's like you're up. And then this prisoner walks away. Stop. Stop. <laughs> Not the sounds of human exert. <laughs> Got a squart or die here. Squart or die. Okay. So basically, uh, Chalky starts putting on the heaviest weights he can he can get, which is probably limited because okay. it's a prison thing. Yeah. 
And so he goes, like, all right, let's start getting practice, boys. You grab your own. There are uh, no weights left. Chunks is using all of them for oh. his. Oh. Uh, going to do calisthenics. That's right. So, no, no, I, I got on my back, get ready to do the thing, go, hey, Reeb, I'll need you to spot me. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Chair. Good idea. <laughs> I'm going, to, I'm going to do this full well knowing that Chongus is not going to need a spotter, so I'm just going to like use this opportunity to look around. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, but but that being said, Chongus, give me an athletics test. I'm going to say this right now, Zorin. If mm -hmm. you fail this athletic test, this is entirely on you. <laughs> <laughs> let's let's see his complication. There it is. <laughs> there it is. Yeah. There's the complication. Uh, Would a five do it, or do I need to do something? Uh, no, no, no. A five okay. is enough to succeed. Uh, so you're having no problems lifting the weights. Can I suggest my own complication if a Patreon thing isn't available? Uh, I don't have an immediate good one. What would you like to suggest? I want I want the thing I'm on to break. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm <laughs> yeah. on? I want, it to <laughs> I want it to break after the immense weight of me and this thing. The fucking bars. Is like, and it just crashes and makes like a small crater. Yeah, and you're like, but you're still holding up the bar with the weights on it. And there's just like, you're just like on the floor now instead of on the uh, on the bench. And you're just holding holding it like. Yeah, and I look at Rebo, why didn't you spot me? Hey, that's not my fault. That time's the bench's fault. Got to oh. persuade <laughs> Who don't understand Chunkus when he asks for spot? He means you have to support weight of bench. Isn't that right, Chunkus? Yeah, the bench is supposed to snap like this. And and as as this happens, this this other one armed man with a a big <laughs> pipe wrench behind him comes up. You're the new ones, I see. Yeah. Yeah, you can say that. Yeah, they my friends. If, they, if anybody hurts them, I'll hurt them. Oh, don't worry, Chunkus. That won't happen. Greetings. I am Tagadur. I am the head bitch here. Holy I'm shit. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> like, excuse me? That. I need you to repeat that for me real quick because I, I yeah, my internet fluctuated and Discord stopped for a second. Say that again, please. I am Tagadur. I am the head bitch here. Terrific. <laughs> Fucking terrific. Now, when you say head bitch, yes. What do you mean by that? I am the top here in this prison complex, as we are all bitches under the law. Oh. I like how you said at the top, but I didn't hear speaker erupt into laughter. I mean, in different terms of his definition, both of you are technically mob bitches. So it's all weird all the way down. It's a weird hierarchy here in prison. Right. <laughs> but you'll learn your place under Chonkis. You'll have good lives here as long as you do what he and what I tell you. Sure. Well, pleasure sure. to meet you, Tagador. I'm uh, I'm Zedek, Captain Zedek. I don't uh, plan on being here too long. That's a uh, my friend over here is. We're still doing the bit. We're still doing the bit. Yes. <laughs> That's Artaman. He's a rather well known socialite, rich boy, playboy, all kinds of boys. I'm going to hit you with a... I'm going to hit, grab... Can I ask Tagador for his pipe wrench so I can waylay you with it? Oh, of course you may. <laughs> oh, to beat up I another like, fellow. Here you he, are. He beat like him with this. It. He flips it in his hand perfectly so the head is like is, is in his grip, and then he hands like the, the bottom portion, the handhold, out towards you. It's like immaculate the way he uses this, hands it out to you. Of course, I I always like having prisoners in my debt early on. Sure, I'll be happy to pay it back. And I'm going to whip around and I'm going to make a very specific move. I'm going to make as though I'm going to clock Zedek on the head, but I'm going to stop just short mm -hmm. so that it doesn't actually impact with the weight, but it will look like I hit him. I'm going to hope that Zedek knows what I'm planning. 
All right, Zedek, how do you react to this? Zedek, not expecting Ryu to actually hit him, is going to let him do exactly that and not flinch because he's not picking up on his social cues. Lucky for you, I rolled a four. So it stops right in front of your face and then Zedek has this pause. I'm expecting... I, I kind of wiggle it very slightly as though I'm expecting Zedek to do something. Can I, what would that even be? Would that be a leadership? <laughs> <laughs> uh, leadership or deception to like get a get a secret message across. Either either spot. I'll do I'll do deception because that's way better. Sure, sure. At a one that'll <laughs> not do much. You have you have a rat. You got some glory too. I, I'm gonna need a three. I'm gonna wrap that. Excellent. I, I also appreciate I am the head bitch here is now a clip. Thanks, chat. <laughs> <laughs> um oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, for that works. So 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 um Zedek, you you immediately get the impression of what Reed is like. He wants you to take the hit, so to speak. After parsing that for a moment, Zedek's like Oh ah, oh. Fuck, why'd you do that? Oh my god! It's just a very common Necromunda move. Here, here you go, my friend. Ah, uh-huh. like you are from it. from Necromunda. Yeah, I'm used to dealing with uh, I'm used to dealing with hivers on Necromunda as part of my position as a hive noble. You may not have heard, but uh, I've been displaced a little bit. Ah, well, you hit it. You hit it with the strength of a hunter hitting an overgore. Very good. What's an overgore? You're a great, shaggy, and savage species native to my home world of Attila. Ah, I thought I recognized the accent. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm familiar with the Attilan critters because I'm an inquisitor, but, you know, the Ono Xenos just saying... <laughs> Yes, good. It's. I'm glad to know others. Others know of me, I, or, or of my world. Though I would not be surprised if you know me. I am a very big deal around these parts. No one knows who he is. <laughs> he Talk loves to talk a big game, but also, I think he has. Uh, you know, he, he might have issues. He wishes he talk was popular, us. but. Chonkas, why? Why would you say these these hurtful things? It's not hurtful, it's true. No, it's not. Chunk okay. Ever since How I took all that you bitch did. away from you, you've been very sad. Oh, you listen here. That one had a nice, bold, shorty head. I used to save my face with his reflection, and you took him away from me. And I took more away from you during that skirmish. Well, don't worry. You see... I will have a new champion ready to fight you in the matches. Oh, I will destroy your champion. I will train these two to possibly be proxies. But if I see, but if your champion is worthy to fight me, then I will annihilate him myself. (laughs) Good, good, good. But you do, and he sort of like takes his pipe wrench and waves it at both um, Zedek and Reeb. What what are you in for? Uh, <laughs> I think we're in here by mistake, but that's probably a really common statement. So I'm going to say that, based on what the judge says, we're in here for stealing his family jewels. And Reeb's going to frown immensely at saying that. Yeah, high crime. Uh, jewel piracy is uh, kind of our outfit right now. But unfortunately, he thinks uh, we're a part of that outfit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you you hear that, Chunkus? They're in here for child's play. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. You only get for, you only get two hundred years minimum for that too. It's poultry numbered. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you see, you're in here for nothing compared to to some of the others like myself and Chunkus here. Well, tell me what you did. Which one landed you in here? I, well, you see, I was hired to be, uh, well, placed into administratum as clerk. Okay. And? 
I do not know how to read or write. We talked, we, we, we discussed him when we were up above. You remember this, don't you? I would if he didn't hit me across the face with a wrench. True enough. <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> I like you too. Junkus, don't break these ones. I'll try. They usually only last a week. All right. Well then, I must be off. And he, he turns and starts walking away with his pipe wrench behind him. See you around. Oh, hey, yeah. Dago. Oh, my God. <laughs> Seems like you're on friendly enough terms with him, considering you didn't just, you know, lash out at him just now. Some people become a valuable asset the longer you keep them alive for the potential jailbreak that might come in the future. He seems competent enough to hit things well, and also is a big. He also is a more convenient target than Tonkers. Tonkers you are, are the most well big. fucking spoken ogre and I have yeah. ever. Yeah, like, I'm, I'm not convinced that Chungus is an ogre. <laughs> I think he's just a really big dumb guy. I think it would have been really irritating to hear me go, yeah. I hate the way his mustache looks. And then it's just that the entire fucking time. It's just random statements. Oh, no, I, I like this. I'll Don't still add him in there, but it's like, it's just like, I don't understand the complicated nature of anything. Talk to me always condemn the geopolitical st- events inside this prison complex. Yeah. What? That was, that was surprisingly well-spoken, Sean. I guess I didn't expect that. Well, He's you think Tonk is stupid? I think you no. should have been the administratum fellow instead of him. I've always been. I've always thought it'd be excellent to become a judge. I've always wanted to see what it's like to yield the role at people. You know, Chunkus, if we get out of this in the next uh, conveniently amount of time within the next week, I might have a job for you. But let's worry about things Ooh. later before I don't. You know. Do I get paid in this job? I've never been paid before. I've always wanted to know oh, what it's yeah. like. Yeah, of, co- of course, of course you'll get paid. You what, what, do you, get... what do you want? You want money? You want food? Uh, I like food. They only feed me ten days. I would like to try all sorts of food. I mean, the human flesh is not an adequate, uh, you know, diet. As of pretty much compared to that of ten days. You know, it's we quite have... sour. I wouldn't recommend eating eating human. They're much, much too mealy. Alert! Oh. Alert! Prison recreation time is ending. Return to your cells. Alert. Alert. Oh, we got to go. That was fast. Oh, all right. So well, we don't want us out back. too long. The longer we're out, the more we have time to plan and scout out an escape plan. Back we go. Come on, friends. And I pick them both up and start. Going back to the sales. Uh, and with that, let's let's take our first break here. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Let's all have a, let's have a nice little sit down in my cell. Goodbye, everybody. We'll be right back. So, Erndel, I'm going to be asking you a couple questions for a test. Um, I hope you don't mm-hmm. mind. Uh, reaction no. time is a factor, so please stay focused, okay? Go right ahead. All right, great. Um... You're watching television. Suddenly, you spot a wasp crawling on your arm. How do you react? Slap it. You're reading a magazine. You come across a full-page nude of a pog champ. You show it to your little pog champ, who likes it so much that she hangs it on your bedroom wall. What do you do? I slap it. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. Uh, your little <laughs> your little boy shows you his um, e-, e collection, plus the killing jar. What do you say? I slap him. Okay. Somebody gives you a calfskin wallet for your birthday. How do you react? I put things in it. Okay, somebody slaps you. How do you react? I cry. All right, I hate to say, but you are a replicant. (laughs) Fucking what? (laughs) (laughs) All right, you know what, Speaker? I'll I'll give you that, but at least I don't like Vriska. True! Listen, man. (laughs) Personal attacks, not Listen, man. Listen, if I can't come up with a good retort, I'll just resort to ad hominem. Fuck you. (laughs) And for the people who got that reference, congratulations. <laughs> Alright, so we return to our epic story. That fucker. Return to our <laughs> epic story. So epic. His pie brain goes through the vents. Vented. 
All right, so you have a weapon, Pie Brain. They are ready to be got by the Break Spider. What are you <coughs> going to do now? I have a plan. We are going to go to the Brain. Gamu4224 pauses on the Vox. The Brain. Yes. You see, these prison systems require a tower with which to communicate from. They also have a tower where you can press a button and a, a sprinkler come on and then the door open too. That is where they control the magnet from, no doubt. If we can find our way into a security tower in this subsection, we can cause havoc enough to make a break for the elevator. I see. Are you going to do that before conferring with your fellow cellmates? I'll be fine. What's the worst that could happen? Nah, understood. So, what information do you require from me? I need the location of the nearest security tower. Preferably the primary one. Luckily for you, I have that information. Boy, the cost will be only minimal. Uh, what do you mean, Gamu? You're killing me! No, no, I am not. Though my request may. Name your price, you... 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 Meanie... <laughs> you meanie pants! <laughs> you really told her there. <laughs> I uh, tried to come up with one of the Piper's alliterative <laughs> insults, but I blanked. <laughs> and you are bad. No! No! So then, will you accept? I do not have a choice. Good. And I will provide you the information. All I request is that you <gasps> dictate something nice about Grya. Uh, uh. <laughs> Just, uh, and that's it. <laughs> Graya, Graya, it's so adequate. It makes things that function. Graya, Graya, there are technology there. Woo! Are you happy? Yes, yes, I am. Yeah, I will provide you the coordinates. Beep, boop, beep, boop, boop. Zzz. Information kind of floods. One day I will force you to say nice things about Lemuria. <laughs> Going on. Hi, Brain, <laughs> tell me something. But do you think research can bloom on the battlefield? I'll fucking kill you. Do you understand me? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, with that, <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to complete that line. I can't. Pi <laughs> isn't a simp. He can't do the autocon. It's just like my 40k manuals. Just like one of my Lemurian field manuals. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, with, just about uh, enough of this. <laughs> <laughs> with that, we cut back to to the prison as as Chunkus and uh, Reeb and Zedek make their way towards. Um, <clears throat> sorry, as they make their way towards their cell, uh, a group of Arbites are in front of the cell. You there, Chonkus, and the other two. Well, he Head over to that bridge. The senior arbitrator wishes to speak with you. Oh, all right. Terrific. Let's get a move on real quick. And yeah, McLawdoter in her armor is standing there on a bridge waiting for you to come by. Good. Uh, Reeb's going to cross his hands, looking a little... Uh, cross mm -hmm. and i'm going to just kind of is there, are there any other arbitrators around or is it just her on this bridge it's just her there's uh, some that have like taken position around but it's very clear she wants to have a private conversation i'm gonna frown very very noticeably at her uh, hello hi been a little bit since we talked by that i mean what a couple hours I, I just, I want you to know that I, 
I had nothing to do with what happened. Mm, yeah, I know. You gotta save your own skin first. As long as you're working on something, that's all that matters. After after I woke up, the Supreme Judge, he, 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 he said that... McLaw Doder, she sort of leans in. He said that he wasn't going to let any of you leave until he found what happened to his jewels. And then I guess we're not leaving, huh? Tonkers hates that phrase. Which I'm... one? Leave or family jewels? Family jewels. Nah, I hate it too, big guy. Don't worry. I, I see you're already making friends down here. Uh, against my will, yeah. Yeah, I requested him to be a mouse hen. He no snow and shiny unlike the other ones, and this one's hair is soft as a kitten. Mm-hmm. You've ingratiated yourself with one of the top prisoners here. That's good, that's good. Chokus is probably the only one who can protect you from Tagador. Yeah, who the ones you keep your head in with a pipe? I feel like Tagador is, uh... Punching a bit above his weight class, there is a reason that we are probably thrown in here after all, yeah. and that is because we are scrawny little rats that have been starved for, you know, a hundred days or more. I think he's outclassing by five hundred pounds. You don't understand. Ever, ever since the fucker be left, Tagator's risen up here. Hmm. Have you uh, conducted a search of his cell to see if he's hiding anything of import, like cams or any sort of stimulants hiding around his room? Multiple. Multiple. Just, he's lucky. Things just seem to go his way now. Mm-hmm. Would it be possible to have a private eye on the matter? You know, like, work release kind of thing, except... You know, we're staying in the prison while working. Therefore, it's not a work release at all. It's more just we're taking a shift as a, a guard. Look, the, the I can't I can't get you anything with him, but I and I can't get you your friend, uh, your friend Lorne. He's 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 in in the the highest security. Only the Supreme Judge has access to that. Oh, he's still alive. That's actually quite surprising. I thought he was dead, given his propensity for firing a white-hot beam of psychic energy at things, or lifting things up and throwing them around, or crushing small creatures into meatballs, or harming people psychically with his powerful emanations, or turning around cyclonic torpedoes with the power of his brain, or... We get it. He's... We get it. He's cool. <laughs> I meant that he's dangerous, mostly. They, they they put a side dampening collar on him and have him in a in one of the the, the high security cells. Hmm. Gotcha. I haven't I haven't been able to see him yet. I'm sure that the Supreme Judge is looking to talk with him. Can't imagine that going all that well for the judge. He's uh, kind of a hard guy to talk to. Oh, but. But if he, the judge, if the supreme judge is so focused on that, there is something I can do for you. She leans in. I can get you a meeting with, uh, with, with the, the subject you wanted to to meet with when you first came here. That'd be nice, but unfortunately, given our current predicament, it'd be a little pointless, wouldn't you think, Zedek? Well, yeah, we can't do anything with him if we can't get out of prison. It's, it's the best I can do. Mm. Well, what do you say? Do we take the uh, take the opportunity that has presented itself, and maybe we can get him out with us? Yeah, I don't we don't have a lot to work with right now. I don't see why not. It's not like it's going to get any better before it gets any worse. It's true. All right, I'll have a, uh, um, I'll have Trooper Hest take you there. She mm. motions. Yeah, to... there... Are you sure you can't get? Literally anybody else. Yeah, because you know, so. not that guy. He's too happy. He's too too enthusiastic. He hasn't He's, had his soul crushed yet. If I see him small again, I'm going to crush his head. I can't trust anyone else. They all have their allegiances. He he hasn't formed any yet. Oh, fine. Follow orders. 
All right. Hmm. And she sort of walks off for, for a few minutes talking to Hest and then continues on placing her helmet back on and then Hest rushes up. Hi there. Looks like I'm yeah. taking you to solitary to meet with another prisoner. Bye! <laughs> Just go before I destroy you. <laughs> yeah, All right, just, come just, on, fo 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 follow me, guys. But that being said, I should warn you that threatening an arbitrator has a very severe penalty. Why does he continue to speak? I crush when the man speaks. Everybody's in here is in here for more than one life sentence. What does it matter to them? Yeah, it's like a high score at this point. Don't you care about your families? I don't have a family. Oh my oh. god. Wow. I uh, other imperial citizens are so different. They say that prison changes a person. The you greatest do, prison is the do. one that we make for ourselves. You do realize that uh you know, most people don't really give a good goddamn about family. Do you have any idea how little family actually means nowadays? I mean, come on. Have you looked around? Oh, well, I who Oh, sorry. Wait here for a moment. And he pauses in an intersection in the prison. I have to go use the little arbitrator's room. One second. I step out of the intersection. <laughs> <laughs> and he turns and like rushes off into the side room. Leaving you basically alone in the prison. Oh, free reign, boys. Where you want to go? I want to go back to my ship. That's where I want to go. And that's Wait, when no, you hear the skittering from a nearby vent. Spider! <laughs> no, don't kill that one, don't kill that one. Do I know Please. where it is, where it's coming from? Like, oh, absolutely. absolutely. Can I is it like a vent that's like kind of like protruding from the ceiling, or is it like behind a plate or something? I'll, I'll say it's protruding from the ceiling. I jump up and thunderclap it. <laughs> Uh, all, all right. Um, what kind of check do you think would be appropriate for, for jumping? I assume in athletics for me to like jump up there and then like both fists come down like the hog just whoo, bruh, and like trying to crush the vent. Absolutely. All right. You so I'm going to grab got an athletics and I go no, and I basically jump up try to smash it and wow I come oh, got wow. a one so Chonkus <laughs> is gonna do a wrath <laughs> okay because Chonkus messed up and okay. Chonkus got a five okay so a five uh, does does work uh, you manage to like thunderclap it except what happens is the the like explosive pressure causes the bottom to give out and this red robed figure tumbles onto the floor as the complication and pie brain you're looking up at this immense muscly figure what is spider during events drunkers hate spiders you Disrupted my evil plan! And I'm gonna grab Chungus by the fucking neck, jump on no. his head. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> try, try, try him out here, Chief. You're going to grab the Ogren by the neck. This I'm is gonna your... jump up on the Ogren and grab him by the neck. <laughs> um, all, all right, what kind of check would you like to make for this? It's uh, going for the neck. He's going for the suplex. Go! Oh, 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 oh. Uh, perhaps weapon skill? Yeah, sure, sure. <laughs> really mix it up a bit. Yeah. Psychic mastery, me. Come on. Psychic mastery. Yeah. <laughs> That's five successes. Uh, yeah, Chungus, would you like to to counter that with uh, with athletics? I definitely would like to. Tonk yeah. Tonkus counteracts, but he's athletics, and I also get a five. So basically, you man, like you go, you try to jump him, and Chalkis just grabs you midair. And, and so like, this, so as I grab him, if if I can do so, and I grab him long, Chalkis doesn't want Spider near him, and I want to do with athletics, except throw him back in the vents. <laughs> 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 yes. And yeah. I want to spend all the glory, if that's okay. <laughs> yeah, sure. One, two, three, four. 
<laughs> so that and ah. one, two, three, four. There we go. And athletics ho. This is just like breakout. I got a seven <laughs> and a complication. And a complication. <laughs> um Oh Lord, what's a what's a what's a <laughs> Chong has got two complications during this whole process. I, I want to point out that one of the complications I had saved from the the the, the, the patrons was um, entitled, Well, That Was a Dud, by <laughs> Shamor, you guy, I'm pronouncing that terribly, in which a throne item or weapon falls immediately in front of the throne. <laughs> And then, yeah, so you go to throw and, and you, 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 you execute this great throw, but like the flailing of Pi causes Pi to just sort of like land. Like Chonkis is tossing, but doesn't quite realize the exact amount that, that Pi weighs as a metal being and Pi just plumps onto the floor. Wait, can we have it? Can we have it to where the intended purpose to where he go um, to get him in the vent? Okay, but, okay. but, but, but no, wait, but no, have it where he goes in the vent. But because of the complication, the oopsies is that I do it to where he goes over a grate that had poor maintenance. She goes, ah, and it's like hollowed inside and then burst out of the grate on the other side and just lands a little <laughs> bit forward. Um, you know what? I, like the, the thing is, is you should still succeed your your, your test yeah. to get it. The complication shouldn't stop that. So instead, what I'll do is I'll have it. So you you go to toss him and he doesn't. He flumps in front of you and then you just pick him up and like shove him into the head. <laughs> you're in. Big and tall. Get in there. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to turn around on like my all fours, peeking my little blowy, glowing blue eyes out and go. <laughs> looking like a spider in the vent. Also, the screeching I will, noises. I will point <laughs> out that Chonkus shoves him into this dark, tiny space, which he is intensely afraid of. <laughs> And then there's yeah. like clunk, 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 mm-hmm. as uh, I assume, Pi, you're continuing off on your... Uh, Wait, do uh, I see uh, Reeb and Zedek during all of this? Of course! That was a weird-looking spider. And I, I consider furthering this Clash of the Titans and go, ah, ah, ah. Oh, hello, Reeb, hello, Zedek. Uh, Just kind of wave at him silently. Okay, I am going to go to the control center and try to sabotage the whole area and create grand chaos! Um, well, you guys go do that and get ready for your evil plans that I know you have been concocting, no doubt. We should probably meet up with uh, Rohecta before he gets wrapped up in the uh, chaos that you're talking about. Oh, Rohecta will need a weapon when you see him. I'm going to hand you my radium pistol. My pocket it. I have procured on site equipment and armaments, but when Rohecta is released, he will have nothing to defend himself with. Uh, that has very low ammunition reserves. I will have you keep in mind. So there you go. But you can also use it for your funny plan. Good. You go do your thing now. And uh, maybe let's meet up in Chonkus' cell if none of this goes to plan. Okay. Goodbye. Goodbye, Zadik. Goodbye, Reeb. Goodbye, Chongus. Goodbye, Spider. <laughs> <laughs> I got so many irons in the fire. Oh, ah. I'm sorry about that. You see, <laughs> I was trying to wash my hands, but you wouldn't you believe the washing unit malfunctioned? Sprayed water everywhere. Sounded like so much hissing in that washroom. Yep. That's exactly what happened. Isn't it a shame? Let's go. Oh, did one of the vents break again? No. We've been getting reports of that. We don't get big spiders. Yeah, giant spiders. Giant spiders? Yeah, you have to go inside the vents and clear them out yourself. It's part of your job. Okay. Those spiders eat the brains out of people. I guess I'll have to look into that, won't I? All Damn. right, and he pulls out his, like, data slate and begins entering, like, spider clearing duty. Could you show us the way to the solitary already, please? Oh, of course. Come on, follow me. And and so he, he continues leading you 
leading you along until you eventually come into this area of the station on a sort of a lower level where all of the walls are this like clinical white and there's just these airlock doors and he stops before one all right i'm supposed to let the three of you in there to talk to the prisoner uh when you're done just just pound on the door and i'll let you back in um see your arbitrator mclaw donor said i'm not supposed to speak with you and he sort of leads in. I don't know if this is one of those things where you're going to kill him, but but if you do, I guess that's my orders. So, good luck. All right, cool. Thanks, you. Just get out of the way, man. <laughs> it's my first day. Yeah, we know. I walk in. I drop kick him like a fucking football. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and you, you come in to see a, a, like a solitary figure who stands up as you enter the room. Uh, this dark-skinned man who has some like base level uh, bionic plating on the back of his head. Uh, like it looks like he's he's been like pretty beat up relatively recently. Uh, has some some like. Um, some markings on him that appear to be almost like electu tattoos. Uh, but he stands up with a, you know, prisoner number as like a board off of him, much like all the other prisoners here have been wearing, and he stands up. Oh, hello there. Hi. So, so finally we meet the fabled Ro Hector. Ah, you know of me. I am Ro Hector from Forge World Lemuria. Yes, we came across some recordings of your work back on Shady Rock. Oh, you you heard my recordings there. Are they published? I don't know no. what's happened. Time has uh, has has left me since I've been here. Am I famous now? No, well, no. you're not. Oh. You see we were dispatched, excuse me, Reed Van Horn, Inquisitor. Oh, a uh, uh, member of the Emperor's Holy Inquisition. Uh, why, why are you with the prisoner? And and you, you are you are very finely dressed. You do not look like a prisoner, sir. Well, that's just it. Neither one of us are supposed to be in here, just like you're not supposed to be in here either. So you know! Oh, oh, thank the Omnisire you have come to save me! Yes. Well... That's the plan. That's part of it. Oh, good, good. You see, all of us have fallen prey to the machinations of one... Mm -hmm. Slyburgo de Fuckerby, 20-whatever of his name. Stay we saw what... Oh, de Fuckerby. Yes. I will forever curse that name. We need to find out what exactly transpired in that... that crypt back on Shady Rock beneath the ocean. It was... It was... It was... Uh, well, you you said you read my, my data logs. Part of them. Well, then you know that the research station there, that we managed to uncover Xenos runes. Yes, we knew that were, much. We're, we're inside there. Ah, I see. Well, after, after we... Uh, he pauses, breathes in deeply. After we, we discovered the, the Xenos structure, I made my way in with a group of Skitari. I began mapping the area. It was... Immense, it, uh, and yet it all centered around something near the center of it. So we dug. Well, we went in deeper and into the complex. We were attacked by small Xenos robot forms. Uh, I was separated. I was lost in those caves. Uh, but that is that is when him and his companions found me. The fucker be and his companions. Uh, when when they found me. I I told them we should return to to the service, but but he wished to he he wished to see what what was what was happening there. So so he led me to to a central chamber, and that is where where we found it. Did you see it? The 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 great monolithic pyramid structure. Oh yes, yes, we did. 
and whatever came out of it, too. And thankfully, dispatched. Dispatched. Something, something came out of it. Uh, that is very, very, very strange. Uh, we, we entered, you see, uh, and some of my Skitari were, were with me. Uh, they, but, but before we could activate the, the central pyramid, something attacked us. It was this, this immense uh, Xenos robot form, uh, like some sort of insectoid from from old Earth. Yes, we killed that. What happened next? It attacked us, and the, the pyramid structure opened, so my Skitari tried to fight it off, but uh, Dufagrabi, he, he opened it, and uh, there was some device in it. He took the device and, and, and seemed seemed stunned by it. I, I don't know what exactly happened, but uh, shortly after he he used the device to to capture my men and 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 the the robotic beast, the, the corpses of my men, I should say, and 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 they all went into it. I I could not believe what I was seeing, but but he, he clutched something, he threw the cube back into it, but he clutched something else. Some, 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 some shards of glass, some, some jewels. Ah, I knew he was succumbing to Xenos incursion. That is going to be very useful indeed if we're able to get you out of here. Oh, yes, I, I must return to Lemuria and, and make my reports, but, 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 but you, you have to understand, he, he, he took me out of there and, and then we, and then we, then we, then we left. We, we went into onto the surface, but but it was strange. Uh, he, he, it was as though he didn't care about anything anymore. He he just looked at those those shards he collected, uh, like he saw something in them. He kept he kept laughing or screaming. I I don't I don't know what it was, but it it, it changed him quite a bit. Uh, but before. Before we, we, we left, he, he had to return to the surface. He said he had to make some changes, and I don't know what he did down there. But we left, and then he said he we had to come here. I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know why we had to come here. But he, he brought me with him, and we came on board, and he spent much time speaking with, with the, the head judge. He mm. said... And then, then one day, uh, one day he, he threw me in here and left. Let's see. That sounds pretty fucked up, bro. Yeah. So were those family jewels that he was talking about more of those shards? I, 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 I do not know, but perhaps he, he seemed quite insistent on coming here. He he was planning out several places to go visit. Uh, said, can I really quickly, because he seems to be juddering a lot whenever he talks about the, the crystals, can I do a Medicaid to see if he's all right mentally? Absolutely. Go ahead. Because I got I'm, I'm getting a, I'm getting a distinct feeling here that he's not. Okay, roll that Medicaid. Get me a seven. Nice, nice. Yeah, he definitely has some like post traumatic stress from that event, um, and it's clear he has some problems like with these shards. In fact, you're recognizing it. There seems to be some kind of similar effect on him as to what affected you with Shady Rock. Why you like? kind of don't remember even leaving the planet as, as clearly as you would like and why like well you remember the key points of what happened when you were there all the finer details are very hazy mm, uh, regardless of this I think I'm going to I'm going to attempt to quell questions towards him for the moment because I feel like we're just exacerbating a problem and it's going to make getting him out a little bit harder Let's, let us hold a moratorium on the question asking until we are more secure. It seems to be doing you rather poorly. 
thank you, thank you. I, 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 I can provide information. I, I swear, it's just this is uh, another time. Strange. Do not worry about it. At the moment, our first concern is even getting control of this situation, if possible, or even getting out of here. Yes, I, I would, I would like greatly to go and return to Lemuria. We'll work on that. Chunkus, I have a question. Or Have you tried to break out of here before? A couple times. The shoes and they always lock the doors and they always try to bring a whole bunch of the Orbots and they to shoot the Spokies at us and hit us with the big stick. Okay, so there's some doors even you can't break through. And then they release the combat servitor, so that's quite a formidable thing to get over without any weapons. Hmm. Of course, there's only smaller rods, though. They usually try to stop it, but... If everybody got all angry and started trying to fight the old bites, then we might be able to get somewhere. Wondering if we could get some of the old bites on the situation. You want to foster a, a, a revolt into prison? Maybe not just the prison. Maybe we could even get some of the guards in on it. I sincerely doubt they enjoy being under the thumb of the High Judge. The High Judge is a despicable man. And disgusting. Yes, very Don't much so. Smelly. I, I had brief meetings with him before he, he put me in here. He, he has been incredibly lucky. I do not understand how he has reached his position and how his family has held it for for, for so long. If it's like anything at administratum level positions, it's probably the same nepotism that keeps rogue traitors where they are. I, 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 I suppose, but even, even still, you need a modicum of competence, and this man has none. A bit on the nose, isn't it, Zedek? Oh, you don't know the half of it. <laughs> just agreed that I insulted him. <laughs> yes, yes, he did. Yes, he did. Just like, my life is a joke. Competence. Mm. Wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Mm. But I, I, I do not know. Uh, if you wish to, to foment unrest, I, I am not able to, to provide much. I all I know is some some I am I'm Xeno archaeologist. I, I know about Xeno's ruins and, and old old recordings. That will be useful later. For the moment, act as though we have never spoke for the moment about anything, if you can do so. We need to go figure out a a plan of sorts. Alright, I I, I will wait here. Uh, the Omnisaya has blessed me with your presence, and hopefully you will you will get get us out of here. One can help. We'll get out of here. We'll get you out, too. Trust us. Hmm. Of course. All right. And he sort of nods. I guess we'll... Uh, can I... Just kind of pat Chonkus on the elbow, be like, "All right, you can beat on the door now." Okay. Chonkus like punches the shit out of this door. I'm intentionally causing damage. Um, yeah. And as you do that, um, the like the door quickly like pops on open, and you see, uh, you know, Trooper Hest is there. Oh, hi there. Looks like you're done. Yeah, we're done. I pick him up by his head. Like, basically, my palm is over his mouth. <laughs> I just pick him up. And go, okay, we can go. <laughs> Shut up. You don't need to breathe. <laughs> don't hold me with me. Start, start plodding back to our cell, I guess. <laughs> Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You you just start like like plod, 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 plod. Uh yeah, and as you do so, um absolutely that's when who had was it Zedek? Totally Zedek looks down and realizes he's still holding on to the radium pistol. 
<laughs> when was I given the radio? I thought I thought Reap took it. You gave it to me. I stuffed oh. it in my coat pocket. Oh, then you still have it. Why would I give it? To, why would I give it to a guy who's in solitary? That's a terrible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, here you go. In case anyone in solitary confinement, you. All right, you're in solitary confinement. Have this cancer gun. <laughs> it's a cancer gun with like one bullet in it too. <laughs> Be in this tight confined space with the Holy cancer shit. gun. Yeah. <laughs> Good lord. Um, yeah. So, so Chonkus, you're leading the way, holding like Trooper Hest uh, in your your hand, um, and like you you make your way back to to the prison until you hear this, well, 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 and uh, as you continue back towards uh, your cell, you are once again met by Tagador, who stands there. This time, there's about a half dozen other prisoners behind him. Uh huh. What's going on here? No, not in your business. You're supposed to all be in your cells. Oh. They had to take us down to the lower levels to beat us more thoroughly. It's just part of a new motivation routine they're trying out. Deception, please. Absolutely. <laughs> Stop making me redraw my glasses. It's a six. Nah, I do what I want. Seems, uh, seems believable. Uh, but why are you holding the arbitrator like that? He wouldn't shut <laughs> up. <laughs> yeah, he said, yeah, it's his first day. He's getting used to it. I'm giving him a tour of the cells. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Deception? Uh, <laughs> yeah. <sure. laughs> why did you even ask? Interminate instead! Three. <laughs> I have no Three. wrath die anymore, so that's, that's all I'm chunkus, getting. Chunkus, chunkus, chunkus. You have to remember, you are you are no longer head bitch around here. I am head bitch. Are you? Who's you really? Yes. Who made you head bitch? I didn't vote for you. The fates, the winds, everything. The, the, there's no wind down here. The fuck wind are you feeling? <laughs> the winds of change, friend. They are blowing fast, and soon I will not only be in charge down here, but he takes his, like, pipe wrench and points it up, up there, too. I wholly doubt you're going to be able to get enough me in. They get all the way up there, with all the guns and stuff ready to kill us all, and beat them. <laughs> Why do you not believe in me? Because I've already pummeled you before. You and your gang are just <laughs> pathetic. Thank you. I've actually been like <laughs> trying to fucking delay finding that to put on the fucking stream. I'm glad you took the initiative to put the fucking photo there. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you to our Discord for putting that fucking monstrosity on there. <laughs> <laughs> For our for 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 our audio folks, this is a a um, lovely photo manipulation of Tagador with a shirt that reads "I'm the bitch in white or in pink on a white shirt." It's fucking <laughs> okay. So how do I go on? I was gonna be able to take out your position because I've got a plan. And you ain't got a plan. You just show them a law of people. But I always got plans. I got smarts. Chonkas, chonkas, chonkas. We know you don't have the smarts. Listen here, bitch. I don't need you to tell me that I don't got no smarts. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh god this is, the, this is the poison I'm just waiting for it I'm sorry I'll <laughs> oh my god what, what, Reed, what are you doing during this exchange Reeb Reeb <laughs> 
Yeah. <laughs> what oh, you God. <laughs> what, do you, what do you want from me at this point? <laughs> You're just, like, shaking your head looking, Dad. I, I don't have a plan yet. Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so basically this guy's sur- like surrounding us with dudes, right? Oh yeah, yeah, there's like he's he's got like a half dozen guys with him. Like they yeah, obviously all got like prison. So I was weapon. gonna go back in my cell, even uh, though you told to criticize me about not being the cell and you're supposed to be in your cell. Well, I make so, the rules here. Are you sure about that? I am very sure. Are we supposed to figure this out right here and now? No. No, this seems like something we'll have to resolve at a later time. I just want you to know your place. You're the bottom bitch. Are you gonna take that, Chunkus? No. I immediately punched <laughs> the fuck out of it. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, go ahead. Give 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 me a give me a weapon. Boom. Wait, your thing's not working. <laughs> Hold up. That's not working at all. All right, oh, weapon nice. skills test. Oh. We'll do that instead. Boom. I get a 7. And say you rolled a complication with nothing. No, <laughs> yeah. no, that's for some reason that's not working. Well, I'll fix it later. But yeah, that's uh Cool. Um yeah, you you go and you you hit him. Give me damage. Okay, uh, let's see if the damage thing works. Just bam! Yeah. 12 damage, just smashing right into him. Can you, uh, spend a rune point for me, please? I uh, sure can. Boop. Uh, um, so as you go, you, you have this shot lined up, and there's just this moment where you see, like, all of you see Welchonkis is holding on to Arbitrator Hest. He goes, he takes the the fist, and, and, and the fist comes down and just caves in Tagadur's head. <laughs> Except reality doesn't quite work that way. Instead, Chonkis takes a step forward and slips and goes careening backwards, Landing on his back, dropping has first day, and like lands back, um, back on the ground. His face looking up at Tagador, who sort of, you know, flexes the the, the pipe. I told you, I'm just lucky, and I am the head bitch. No! I grab his leg and try to throw him. Yeah, yeah, sure. Give, 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 give me an attempt. <laughs> Even better, Zoran, do you try to do a sit-up? <laughs> 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 yeah, wait, wait. I sit up, grab his legs, and let the momentum of my weight and everything, like, throw him backwards. Oh, yeah, give me an athletics check for that. Totally. <laughs> do an athletics to make a sit-up. Yeah. I mean, Chunk, Chunk, Chunk has got, you know... Sorry, give me a second. Chad gave us oh, four glory, and I was adding it to nice. the things. Athletics? Nice. Yeah. Rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Got a seven rolling. and a glory. Nice. So sweet. Yeah. So so you get up to do this, and and yeah, so you're sitting up, and then you're you're trying to grab it. Is that the plan, or? Yeah, like, okay, so imagine you're sitting, like, you're sitting on the ground, or whatever, yeah. you're lying on the ground with your back. I lean up. This one yep. kind of doing a sit up. My arms then extend, grab his legs, and then you know when you like just let yourself fall backwards while you're sitting on the ground. I'm using yep. that momentum to like grab him, and then using the strength of my arms, like just whip him back behind me, like using all that strength to just toss him. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Uh, and you do this, and um, roll roll damage for me with with your meaty fists. Yeah, yeah, my my meaty punchy fist. It, rawr, 13 damage. Oh, oh, nice. And you, you grab him and you hear this crunch sound. And you hear this this shout out of oh! as you hear Trooper Hest scream out in pain as you have hurled Tagadur back. But Tagadur's fall, like slant, being slammed back, instead of being on the, the cold ground, he actually gets slammed back onto the Arbite. And you just hear the Arbite yell out in pain. My first deck! Thumb snap. Oh, that was very good. Very good. 
And he just sort of like, you hear Tagador kind of like stretch a bit at that. But you see, Chonkus, I'm just, I'm just too lucky. Ever since that man told me I'd be lucky down here. (laughs) I believe we get the point. Uh, Is there something else you wanted to endow us with in terms of information, or have we uh, reached the limit on trying to harm you? Oh, you can keep trying all you want, but nobody touches this bitch. All right, boys, let's go. And he, like, gets up and struts away from you. Chonkus, what are you doing? As you also just hear the from the arbitrator behind you. One more time. Oh, you 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 just hear the arbitrator kind of like moaning and oh wow behind you. Oh, that sucks. Tonkus continues to go back to his cell, mad. Yeah. Okay, the cell now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and the three of you enter the enter back into the cell. Just ignore that this still only has. Because chat three won't. Minutes. Chat keeps spamming. I do. I need to mark you down a ruin point for his other thing of luckiness. Sure, I'll be nice. Sure. There you go. There you go. It's not. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, ah. we got it. All right. Yeah. So we're in the cell. Just imagine Zedek's there on the image. <laughs> I'm just sleeping. Yeah, we'll get it. It's just, 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 just laying down. Okay. eyes, a smile, <laughs> oh, no. a, a beard. And then it's like, then there's like a coat. What? <laughs> what? And, and then they it's like, yeah, I'm Captain Zedek. Look at me. And then it's like, coat, 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 coat. And then there's like a head. Why is Lauren and here? There's, <laughs> there's like a head here. And then, here and then you see that basically all, all basically here, we have a couple front liners here and they're yeah. coming in. And, uh, and as they kind of go in this way, the football will then go across this way as it enters in from this thing and it lands here. The offensive, which will be marked as red, will basically fucking, you know, capture the ball and head in towards the defense. And as the defense goes, uh, one of the side runners will come around to the side. And as they come around to the side, they go to the end. And then the ball is like, no, no, that shit. And then as they kind of come in over there, the ball will then be catapulted that way. And then they'll go in and make a touchdown. And this is Zedek. <laughs> Oh god, he looks John like a bird. John Madden, 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 John Um, you start hearing something. You you start hearing up ahead, like from the grate in the direction you're going. Just this, oh, oh, oh. Keep, keep, keep still, lad. We'll get you patched up. <laughs> it's my first day. Oh, oh. oh poor little guy. <laughs> <laughs> Continuing on. <laughs> no, no, no. And and you 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 are now like in a grate above the room, and you can tell that in the command, like there's there's this command room where there's uh three ar- like arbitrators, two of them with with um, shotguns, one of which is like on a cot in the side of the room, who has this like terrible um like curved arched back as he's like in the cot, like moaning out in pain. Ah, so this is the command room. Yes. <laughs> what a beautiful start to the day. All right. So I see two guys with shotguns. I yeah. see One of them guy. is standing over the, uh, the the wounded guy and like, don't worry, it'll be OK. And the other one is, is by like a massive cogitator bank, like looking at security feeds and whatnot. Good. I'm going to prep myself. 
I'm going to take out my great sword. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, it took me. It took me a moment there. Yes. <laughs> I rolled to kill you. Time to prep. prep. And I'm going to charge one of the shotgun dudes. Burst um, down and fucking sword out. Drop down. Um. What are the stats on this exactly? Uh, 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 all right, all right. Um, I mean, it should just count as like a sword. I think they have those listed. Like, uh, yeah, I have a, I have a sword. I have yeah, sword. Yeah, yeah. It's a great sword, so it's a two-handed weapon. Sword. Uh, cool. All right. Uh, give me an athletics check to burst through the vent because that's the first thing you need to do here. Sounds great. I'm gonna spend uh, two glory on this. Sweet. Just in case. Just in case. That's good. Four successes and a glory. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you burst that off. You get a glory. You land in front of one of them. Uh, give me, give me an attack roll, please. Very good. Okay. Fuck. <laughs> I have to make sure I put on all the stats. Fine. Alrighty then. Believe in you. Thank you. Follow me, Aurea! That is... You will hit... You will hit. Uh, you can... No, you can't shift anything, so you, you hit. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, I can, though, uh, use glory for the damage roll, yes? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Was... Yeah, I think we're going to be pumping That's all of it. Okay. So take we'll the rest of them. Yes, absolutely. Go okay. ahead. All right, so that is going to be 13 damage. Uh, yeah, yeah. You come down. Uh, describe how how you utterly, utterly... Uh, actually, wait, 13 damage? Mm -hmm. uh, oh, and there's no AP. Um, you know what? He actually is still barely alive. Um, you, you savage this guy as you come down and take a slash, at which point he sort of, like, backs off going oh yeah I come, um, I come down in this red blur and i'm just like you know obviously i haven't killed them. i'm gonna come down i'm just going to be calling out repeat the sounding joy repeat the sounding joy um what? i i i don't know but i'm scared so <laughs> that's good uh yeah the sounding joy horrifying yeah uh, yeah, okay. Uh, so that guy seems pr pretty be beat up and bloody. That's a surprise round, though, so you get to act regularly now. Uh, what would you like to do in a regular round? Okay. So part of me wants to grab this guy, use him as a human shield, and approach the shotgun dude. I mean, both of them have shotguns, so. Yeah, yeah, but this guy is really yeah. fucked up. Yes. So I'm actually going to... God, I hate to say this. If they're too convoluted, I won't do this. How are the grapple rules in Wrath and Glory? <laughs> I roll to grapple, you bastard! <laughs> <laughs> I will end you. No. Um, <laughs> grapple rules are, 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 are certainly a thing. Basically, it's a combat action like that you're engaged with. It's an opposed strength test. If you win, you restrain the target, uh, but you can only use one-handed weapons. To break free, they have to succeed in the opposed strength test. Okay, so if I grapple this guy and then I move forward using him as a human shield, what would that add to my defense? Uh, I would give you a plus two defense for like using it basically. Well, sorry, I would basically, yeah, give you plus two defense because you're essentially using him as cover. And if something fell into that, that two two range, it would hit that person. Excellent. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to grapple this guy. Cool. Go ahead and roll. I'm gonna All right. Cat. So she stopped meowing. That's going to be six successes. That's my some... arms just around him. Sorry, kidding. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, that. Oh gosh, I I can't even win this. So that's all good. Um, all right. So oh, no, yeah, you, you could grab get, like all sixes. You you just like hurting me. All, all <laughs> you gotta roll it. I get this a two. Is, I lose. And this is a complication, also, by the way. Thanks to chat. Oh chat card. god, damn it! <laughs> <laughs> they were waiting on me. They were waiting on me. <laughs> Oh gosh. Oh oh no. Oh no. Oh gosh. Okay. Um so great. This is this is this is 
fucking awkward, but sure. I'm going to use uh, Dosader's uh, complication that they put in on Patreon in, uh, in entitled Mistaken Identity, in which the NPC thinks the PC is on their side. <laughs> so you drop down, <laughs> grab this, like slice this person, then grab them, it's like, Bill, is that you? Bill, I, I thought I thought you died. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like you can tell it's very clearly like this man is suffering from horrible blood loss and is just like massively wounded and now is just seeing things like Bill, Bill, you're alive! And then the other arbite in the corner is just like looking over with the shotgun. Reginald, Reginald, what are you saying? It's Bill, can't you see him as, like, Pi, you're, you're shifting him into a, uh, like, human shield position. Yeah, I got, my, then, I got my sword out. I'm going to call out to the other guy, and I'm going to say, Alex Mechanical Subsection 270C. This facility is in violation of previous concords and is now under Lemurian jurisdiction. It's my first day! From the cot. Shut up! Uh, <laughs> Shut up, you! Shut up, you! Uh, let's... Let me roll a thing real quick here. Sorry. It's being weird. Come on, character sheet. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. the, I will believe in its disability to do the thing. Let's see here. Do the thing! On roll, on 20. roll 20. There we go. Oh, yeah. Unfortunately, uh, that is a complication. Another one? Of chat. Um, I've been waiting oh. for you. Fuck uh, you, it's a trap uh, card. A fucking hell, a second one. All right, you, you, you beautiful <laughs> bastards. Um, so, so the Arbite is rolling Resolve, like the one who's got the shotgun at the at the station, because he very much is is like trying to decide like whether to shoot, what to do, what's going on, um, and and yeah, is just entirely entirely worried about like what to do now, and just is is looking and okay. Let's go with one from our audience here. Uh, oh gosh. Oh gosh. Yeah, okay. Uh, he's he's looking, he's looking, he's looking and and then like takes a step back and hits the hits the edge of uh, the the chair and as he hits the edge of it he kind of steps on one of the like the, the wheel supports and trips falling backwards dropping his shotgun basically representing his resolve like failing and him being out of the combat as he like falls over I'd like to thank uh, Jeff Roshak for help I've complicated and I can't get up which I know we've discussed for a while as he falls back and you hear this crunch as he hits the ground like right right on the side of the, the wheel of the chair and there's this snap on his back and everyone's like, oh, my back! Um, and so now you have two Arbites in the room that are kind of like writhing, one on a cot, one on the floor pie, and the other one you're holding is a human shield as he deliriously bleeds out and believes that you are Bill. Can I put him in a sleeper hold real quick? Uh, yeah. Combat? Yeah, 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 absolutely. I Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I, like, he's... Like thud, and the other two are like, ah, and then just in the corner from the come my first day. I know, I know, it's your first day. I pick up the shotgun, Pikaye, motherfucker, and I'm going to walk up to the one that's writhing on the floor, pointing the shotgun at them. Oh, my back! Oh. You are a very fortunate young man. You have not violated the edicts by firing on me. I, uh, uh, who are, what are you? I am Hellplace's Reckoning. Now then, you are going to help me take control of this facility. We will bring justice to this place in the name of the Forge World you now work for. And then, we're gonna get that piece of shit to fuck me. 
What's going on? You ejected like two shells so far. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. did. <laughs> Unloading. And like, head. there's there's just this like, what's going on? Uh, as as we cut we cut back to to the chest. <laughs> there's like doodles. Can we delete all this? <laughs> Especially this shit, because I don't want to get banned. <laughs> I, I mean. Uh, there we go. <laughs> oh no, not Captain Sedic. Uh, <laughs> I have merged. Lines up. Um, okay, so no the three of you are, are back, uh, and and like you are having a bit of time away from Tagador to discuss what you have just encountered. Any of you talk about what just happened? Is Chunk is okay with what just happened? I don't think Chunk is as okay with that. I'm going to Chunk is make pretty pissed. I'm making the smart move by not engaging Chunkas. <laughs> like, what is Chunkas doing when he gets back in the room after that? That humiliation. Just fuming. He says, "Piss the fuck off!" Just, just, just try to run. And go. Chunk is not bottom bitch. Tonkus! Tonkus is Tonkus! Tonkus is not bitch! Tonkus is king of the prison! Tonkus always wins! And I'm just like you know, grabbing shit and smashing it and fucking all sorts of other things. Like I'm grabbing like the mattresses and just and just like no effort. Just, just, throw, just ripping it out, throwing it down. If there's any chairs or anything, or like metal chairs, I'm like tossing it through the room. I'm like tearing up grates and shit that don't lead anywhere. And I'm like... I am not bottom bitch. I will destroy him. I will make sure he perishes during the riot. Tonkus will get his revenge. Amidst the din of destruction going on around us, Zedek will turn to Reeb. So suffice to say that our mutual associate has some otherworldly non-human assistance. Am I wrong in assuming this? Walt. Uh, Artemand, did are you paying attention to me, Artemand? I'm listening. Do you have any idea what this is? Because I've not. This is out of my depth. It's, you, you said it might be something Xenos, like we thought in the tomb. Given that he picked it up in the Xenos tomb, I would believe that it is Xenos related. Wouldn't you believe? Yes, of course. But how did he transfer it then into Tagador? That, that, that some other force just left it there. But what would... More, while we can come to the conclusion of what exactly the fuck could be picked up, what about Tagador? Why is he inexplicably lucky? I caught my blessing, sure, but... There's some, two that man ain't right. That could say two th two different things that could lead to the same answer. I think. Uh, I'm willing to assume I don't know anything on this, so I'm not even going to attempt a roll. I uh, mean, you can you can give me all like whatever check you want. You could roll super high. Hey, um, thank you, Kirsten. Ten. Yeah, thank you. I see it. Thank you. Okay. I'm not. I'm not counting that. Glue. I'm not counting that glory. No, fuck that glory. It is an outlier. That should I'm counting uh, out a 10 and everything in the glory, and it's not counting anything. You know, yeah, my five is not going to register anything on this. No. I'm no, willing to assume that. Yeah, you're, you're like... I, I, Xenos I, tech can do a lot of weird things. I'm I'm barely versed on the Necrons, if, if I am even versed on them at all. Exactly. So any assumptions I could make about whatever this fanciful device is are up in the air, but... The, what I do know is that Xenos tech is tricksy and evil and cursed and violent and must be destroyed. And I will make the the funny Inquisition is coming to raid your uh, your chapter base for your stolen Xenos artifacts now. But I can't do that because I'm in prison. Um, I, I really don't know. I'm assuming it is Xenos related purely on the notion that he picked it up in a Xenos chamber. If he's doing something evil with it, like corrupting minds and altering fates, well, that's all the more reason we need to go after his ass, don't you think? Well, yes, now we have plausible deniability other than murdering the shit out of him for making us look like assholes. 
Less precise, but we need to get out of here with Rohekta. His first-hand knowledge would not be so quickly dismissed in front of Miss Van Nord. Of course. We have several powerful allies we've seen to picked up in this journey. Rohekta, of course, is the most useful, but I think we've found some indispensable assets on this little excursion we found ourselves on now. Way late as we may be, I think we can benefit from this after all. Right now, we just got to figure out a way to get everyone distracted and get the situation back into our control, at least for the time being. Is Chonk is still destroying the rumors? He's Chonk is still pretty pissed. Chonk is still going ham on it, but but uh, but he starts calming down. He's now just sitting on the bed, just mad and sad. No, Chonk. Chonk. <laughs> Chonk, yes, my my friend. Yeah. Aww. You want to get revenge on Tagador. I know that. I yeah. want you to get revenge on him. Yeah. So we need to raise hell. We need to turn this station upside down. You've been here longer than any of us. What? Is there anything that could really whip everybody here into a fervor? Is there something that really just gets under their skin, pisses them off? Hmm. I think I'm all having an idea. We'll have an idea of something. Honkers gets up. Mm -hmm. I assume my door isn't fucking locked. So I doubt anybody. Oh yeah, no, they don't. They don't dare yeah. lock the Chonkus door ever. <laughs> I come out. I come outside the door, and I assume it's like rows upon rows of just fucking uh, just cells, right? Yep. Yep. And uh. So Tonkus yells extremely loudly and basically is all like, Tagador thinks they're all bottom bitch! Tonkus needs, needs friends! Tonkus will kill Tagador! We all hate Tagador! No more bottom bitch! No more bottom bitch! No more bottom bitch! No and I basically, and Tonkus is just marching out. At this point, going like, Tonkus is going to destroy him. If all he's only so much luck this bastard can have, then we's all going to rip his arms off. And and as you as you exit to to go and and make this, the Reeb, Reeb and Senek, you're still in the room watching as Chonkus has made his way out and uh, makes this proclamation. That's when you hear crackling, this like crackling of a vox emitter but it seems to be a like prison wide vox announcement dun 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 <laughs> attention mortis carcerum workers you are now under the jurisdiction of the forge world lemuria due to crimes committed by the adjudicator also known by the dumb bad name the roar <laughs> In your capacity as servants of the Omnissiah, all personnel and prisoners are now part of Lemurian jurisdiction. Thus, you will be, at the moment, released. All the doors open. All leaders of the new Lemurian Pena Legion are to report to this security tower, um, uh, be be Beta, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> beta 2, all, fucking all handwriting. All arbitrate staff not in violation of the Mechanicus Accords. Good job. Uh, come there too. Everyone else, fuck you. You're done. <laughs> and uh, with, with that amazing epic announcement, did you hear like the, the creaky? <laughs> wait, wait. I have, I have one last thing. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> fuck you. Pause. 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 Vox I invite the head judicator and all those that support his false tyrannical reign. To die hard. 
Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> where we are, where we are going to end this week's episode. Uh, as as the doors to the Mortis Carcerum prisons have all opened, people begin to come on out. Um, and uh, looks like we got a we got a jailbreak for for next episode. <laughs> well, Captain Zedek, I do believe that the first part of the plan is in motion. Now let's get a move on. Let's go. This is my favorite part of Prison Breaks. With that, everybody, thank you all for joining us for this episode of Warham. Thank you. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys had tons of fun. We're going to have ton, even way more fun next episode. I am extremely excited for it. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce to you the folks that made all of this happen. Let me introduce you to Pie Brain, played by Speaker D. Yes, I am Speaker D. Uh, I, you can find me at my Twitter at, at @supersnakekit, or you can also find me on YouTube. And I would like to say, open announcement, bounty for everybody. If you would like, I think it would be very funny if you drew Warham's fan art of Riska. I'm gonna throttle you. <laughs> ah, <laughs> damn, cease your heresy. <laughs> Next, Next I go. And next up, uh, right after our uh, residence Katari, we have Reban Horn, played by Erendil. Uh, I'm Erendil. You can see me on Twitter at, at Erendilio because I can't make content just yet because I have a job and it's it's pays my bills and I need that. But I will also throw out an open uh, an open requirement for everyone. Uh, don't pick on the GM or I'll hit you with a rake. It's, just don't do it. He's, he's doing a great job. Don't do it, or I hit you with a with a rake. That is all. Next time, I have been playing Chonkus for this episode, but normally I play Lorne, who is not dead. He's not dead, as I said multiple times. He's securely locked away in a vault right now. I did Chonkus just because Lorne's going to be securely locked away and not be able to get to so easily. And then after that, we have Captain Zedek, our resident rogue trader, played by Hokey Crow. That's me. You can find me at Hokey Crow on Twitter, because that's basically the only social I keep up to date with. You can also find me on Discord occasionally. I pop into Zoran's server every now and then. Shoot me a DM there. Or if you see me on the game, you can just humiliate me in whatever PvP activity you find me in. And with that, we also have our game master who has been making these sessions extremely en enjoyable, corrupting us at every single point, making us suffer just how we want it. Thurston Hillman, thank you for another amazing session. Why, thank you. And That's with that, everybody, <laughs> and with that, everybody, uh, please remember, if you always like the show, uh, one of the best ways to help us out is to tell people we exist. Uh, definitely helps out with the live streams. Attending the live streams is one of the most helpful things you can definitely do. It, as I say, you know, multiple, multiple things. Letting people know that we exist. Attending the live streams is possibly one of the best things you can do to help us out. It really helps us grow uh, the show, the channel, etc. So we can do more and more things. Because one of the things that we want to do with your guys' support is get a Warhammer Fantasy game going. So if you are interested in some of us playing Warhammer Fantasy uh, with uh, basically with the new book that has been coming out and all that stuff, not not Soulbound, the one previous, I think it's like fourth edition, if I remember. That uh, we want to play it, we want to play it with all of you, and we need your support. So if you are interested in helping us out, patreon.com forward slash Warhams, where you can help us out, or you can find that along with a whole bunch of other stuff, including even update posts whenever we need to post it up on our website, which is warhams.tv. So thank you again, everybody, for joining us. If guys, when we say goodbye, we shall now be leaving. Bye. That's, that's my car coming to pick me up. Oh yeah. no! Yeah, woo! Get to the airport. <laughs> goodbye, <laughs> everybody. No, so long. Goodbye. Thank well. you for coming. And as Pi always says, ah. we will was, see no, you no, all wouldn't say next time. As Pi always says. Ah. True. <laughs> <laughs> Please be safe, everyone. We'll see you next time.